Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, JDC family. My name is Jay. This is my Diecast Creations channel. And today we got a cool video. We got a cool video. Wait a little bit before I uh, get into anything. Let me get the chat up on my computer over here. Let's see if I can do this without wrecking the joint. See, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep, we're live on public. Yo, 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 NASCAR guy in the house. What's up, brother? What is happening? I went to the flea market car show today and got two boxes full of stuff. BJ's Customs, what's up, brother? What is happening, man? Got a bunch of stuff today, man. Got a bunch of stuff today. Probably spent a few more dollars than I wanted to, but um, I couldn't resist because the 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 stuff that was there was amazing, amazing. I couldn't I couldn't help it. Dane, welcome, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, this stuff I picked up at Target the other day. Um, just mainline cars that are out right now. But this Mach 1, um, I'm going to end up doing a custom on. So I actually pop this one. I'll pop this one for you guys because I wanted to get one that was open. I have one that's on the card. I probably should have looked at both of them before I cracked one. But it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. It's that Mustang Mach 1 70, I want to say. There's no, yeah, it's a 70, 70 Ford Mustang. I love the uh, the the louvers in the back of the window there. I remember they used to do that on the Camaros. So that's a really cool uh, addition that they added to these cars. Just an awesome, awesome piece. I'm not a huge Mustang guy. I'm not like a Ford person, right? But those Mach 1s, man, they had a look about them. They definitely had that mean look about them with the stance and the wing and the, and the thing and the thing and the <laughs> all them things. This thing just looked cool. Sand Blaster, Sand Burner, Hot Wheels Race Team, right? And then I got the uh, the Miata in that, that charcoal gray kind of. With the black rims, the thing just looked mean. The white stripes on it. Ready, ready for it's ready for the racetrack. Ready for the racetrack, right? So we'll get rid of those. I just want to show that. I picked it up at uh Target the other day. Don't like the orange. Yeah, the orange is gonna come off. The orange is gonna come off and uh stick around because this car is gonna make another appearance in a different color. No spoilers, but uh another thing. People, um, people, yeah, definitely sinister for sure, BJ. Um, people always ask me about weapons for the Gaslands cars, right? I joined a thing for, um, GameStop. It's, uh, $15 for the year, right? And every month they give you five bucks to spend. It has to be on one item though. You can't split it up on different stuff, right? So, GameStop does get Hot Wheels. They get a lot of Hot Wheels sometimes, but not so often. Um, but they have these Fortnite crates, right? And a lot of the times, these things will go on sale, on clearance. And they don't have a lot of good stuff in them, but they do have a few pieces that are definitely serviceable for the, the Gaslands, right? So, if you're making a build... Um, you can, you can cut some of this stuff up and make it happen. You know, I don't know what's inside this crate, but I'm just going to pop it and see what's, see what's in it. You know, Ford's man, 84. Welcome back, brother. Welcome back. Welcome back, baby. I don't know what this, uh, QR code is, but if anybody's plays Fortnite and you want a QR code, there you go. Boom. Screenshot that. All right. It looks like it's the henchman chest for four inch figures. See, a heavy assault rifle, tactical suppressed sniper rifle, 
some bling, whatever. Um, so this one may, might not be as good as some of the other ones. But you, you get a couple guns in here. And, uh, you know, some of this stuff is serviceable. Like, I don't know about the cape or whatever, but you can definitely make something happen. You can make something happen, Captain. You know what I'm saying? Like, there you go. There's a sniper rifle. You cut this thing here, or even here, you can have that sticking out the front of a car. Why not, right? You can even use a scope if you wanted to. Say that's something else, you know? Or make it into a gun. Or whatever, you know? You gotta get, you gotta get kind of, uh... Kind of, uh... You know, there's an, there's an assault rifle. Boom. You know, I wouldn't go paying $5 or $6 for this, but... If there's nothing else in the GameStop and you already have the uh and you already have the uh account, you know, why not pick it up? Like it's free. If you don't use the money, they it it, it you lose it. If you don't use it, you lose it, right? Oh man, and I didn't put my phone on airplane mode. Hold up. Am I gonna be able to? Yes. It's gonna cut the Wi Fi, isn't it? Y'all, if this stream drops, I'll be back on in, in two minutes, guys. Turn on. Boom. Alright. Alright. Are we back? Are we good? Can everybody see me, hear me? All that good stuff. Are we are we still live? Let me know, guys. I had to pull that because if I don't turn on airplane mode and my phone rings, then everything just goes away, right? So just let me know if I'm still live. Um, I have it on my computer here, but I don't know. We're good? All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. My bad about that, y'all. This was kind of an unexpected thing. Um, I wasn't actually going to go live today, but uh, I got so much cool stuff that my girl was like, well, I know what you're doing tonight. And I was like, oh, I guess I am going live, you know? And then you get this case that you could probably do something with, you know? You could probably do something with that, even if it's to ship a car out or whatever, you know? And then some of this stuff, like the shields and stuff, you might be able to service this on some type of special build. Make it, like, the top of the car or something. The bottom of the car, maybe, even, you know? Make that into, like, the bottom of a flyer. Something, cut it in half, make it like a Batmobile. I don't know. You got to use your imagination with this stuff, right? And then as far as the leg and the arm, I don't know. Unless you're doing like a spooky Halloween build or something, you might be able to use it. I don't know. Jeff Brummett's in the house. What's up, brother? Live and in charge. Yeah, man. Gary, shortest die cast. What's up? What is happening, man? All right, guys, so I'll get into what this is all about here. We got enough people in here. I can start showing some stuff. Guys, I went to the Flower Fields car show today, and I spent some money. I, I did spend some money. I couldn't I couldn't help myself. There was so much cool stuff. Um, first thing I did, I was looking for this. 70, Dodd, uh, 70 Chevy Nova SS, right? It's the premium version. This is the first time they've made this car in, like, 15 years. And I know that they're going to make other versions of it, right? But I have a good friend of mine. I spot for him in the Modified. His boss has this car with a blower motor on it. And I'm actually going to pop this right now. I'm popping this out because this is going to get customized, right? It's got a blower. It's got the cal induction hood um, that comes up, right? And it's got... It's got... A little bit of more of a lift to it in the rear because it's a drag car right so um i'm gonna have to cut this hood out it's gonna get stripped it's gonna go all black because that's the color of the car um i gotta look and see what kind of rims he has on it i think he has chrome um five spoke mags like this like this here so i might just pull the rubber tires off spray those and then uh i'll have to get the um the hood i think the hood off of the 69 no i'll find a cal induction hood if not i'll have to make one you know um 
I found this car. I know it goes for like six dollars in Walmart or whatever. The dude was selling it for ten, and I was like, "Yo, is there anything else you could do?" And he's like, "I'll give it to you for eight, because I know that you're an honest person." And last time you were at my booth, you pointed out all the treasure hunts that I had in the dollar section. See, that's where that's where being a good person comes goes a long way, man. I saw this dude over the summer, right? And as I'm looking through his cars. He had like a whole dollar section, right? And then he had his his treasure hunts for like two or three dollars. And then he had his supers over there. So as I'm going through his dollar cars, I started pulling out all the treasure hunts I saw. And I put them to the side. And then I called him over there. I was like, hey, man, these are all treasure hunts. I'm an honest person. I'm not going to steal from you, you know. Um, and he's like, yo, I appreciate that, man. Like, you know. I, I must have just missed them all and they ended up in there. But, you know, I'm selling all these cars for a dollar. I work for, like he runs a church like he's doing this because of the hobby. Right. He's not making any money. So. Just be a good person, man. It goes a long way. It goes a really long way. And. um, It came back today. It, it saved me two dollars. I mean, you know, I didn't go far, but. You know, he 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 basically said he had to pay for the gas now because it takes it takes um so much to go riding around finding all these cars so he can come and share them at the car shows. So, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, we got Jeff Brummett in the house. We got Dean Self. We got Gary Shorter's Diecast. We got Mustang Hunter MHDs in the house. What's up, brother? Bruce Zolo, what's cooking? Good people. Um, Chinese food was cooking before. It's not anymore. <laughs> I was going to pick it up for you today. I appreciate that, brother. I really do. Um, I grabbed it up. This is going to get customized and given away to uh, to my buddy over there at uh, Vanguard Fire Protection. That's his company. And he's got that on the cow. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to get somebody to print up the logo. But um, that's going to be cool. That's going to be cool. Dropped last week in Tennessee. When are you leaving again? Not in West Virginia yet. What's that? The, the Fast and the Furious isn't there? Next Monday, you, me, and Eric should meet up for lunch or something one last time. You guys definitely should, man. You guys definitely should get up and do something. Um, if anybody doesn't know, MHD is about to make a huge move, um, a military move up into the Dakotas from Arizona. So um, he's going to be leaving that community over there. And uh, I wish you all the best of luck, brother. I wish you all the best of luck. And thank you for your service and everything you do for this country and for this um, and for this community, man, for sure. So you already know if anything happens to your stuff, which I hope it doesn't. Um, if you need anything, when you get up to the Dakotas, hit me up. I'll send out what I can, bro. Um <clears throat> Okay, gotta go, guys. Talk to you later. Gary, peace out, brother. I appreciate you stopping by, man. Always appreciate you. We'll, we will get on the phone, man. I know we've been missing each other. And um, and I'll give you the tips that you need for that, that custom that you're making. Um, the next thing I picked up, guys, in no particular order, I'm going to go through these. Um, this is the Hammered Coupe. The Hammered Coupe in a Jeff Burton livery, right? I have one in the... Kyle Bush livery 77, I think, from back in the day. Um, it was a dollar, man. This dude had a box of 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 uh factory sealed stuff for a dollar. And, and I didn't grab any of the factory sealed stuff because they were all fantasy cars. Somebody had already went through and grabbed the good stuff, right? So I wasn't really worried about the fantasy cars. None of the stuff that he had there in factory sealed was anything I wanted to see. Um, but I grabbed this up and it says treasure hunt on it. So I don't know what the deal is with that. The cards are both banged up. You know, they, they're older. These are from 2000 copyright. Um, but the hammer coupe is something I've been wanting to do a gas land on. And because, because, um, I have two of these now. I can crack one of these open and do it, you know. Uh, Hewitt's Hot Wheels. What's up, brother? He won't be too far from me. Okay, cool, man. That'd be cool to see uh, 
to see Jason and, and James in the same video. Like, you know, if you guys ever get up, that'd be cool. Absolutely. Uh, just watching the new CSI episodes. Amanda's in there watching CSI right now. <laughs> if you guys hear the CSI, let me know um, because she did tell me that because she'll go in the other room. But I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal at all. Alex Graff, what's up, brother? What is happening? That thing, that is a crazy casting. Yes, it is. And I'm going to make it even more crazy. But um, if you guys know anything about the treasure hunt, because it actually says it right there. Like, I don't see any uh, s s thing behind it or nothing. Maybe it was a treasure hunt series, 2003 treasure hunt series, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But I grabbed both of those. They were a buck a piece, right? Buck a piece. So the same dude I got the uh, Nova from, I got these two cars from, right? I got this first edition dairy delivery. This dude was like, yo, you know where I found that? You're never going to believe it. And I was like, nah, I don't. He was like, he was like, I found it in Walmart the other day. Somebody brought back a case of Hot Wheels from 1998 and returned them. Why? I don't know why you would do that. I don't know. Maybe they were trying to get the new ones and just swap them out with the old ones. But to me, that's kind of dumb. But I'll take it for a buck. I mean, this is the first edition dairy delivery. This is also the same casting I did that big monstrous uh, monster truck out of. So um, I grabbed it up, man. I grabbed that up and then I got another one of these gassers. Uh, the 64 Nova Gasser. If I ever send out another package to Hewitt's, this might go with it. If um, if I get those drop bases for the Nova, this is going to get dropped to the ground and, and going to be awesome. Superbird Diecast, 98. That is interesting. 98, 98, uh, 99. This one, 99. 2000, 2000 copyright. I'm not sure. Dan's Chop Shop in the house. What's up, man? It is still her birthday. It is still her birthday. Uh, Amanda's birthday? <laughs> well, which it is still Amanda's birthday because I went into Ferrari heaven today. I, I went into Ferrari heaven today. There's a guy that was selling his collection. My man had a van full. He couldn't even put everything out. There was boxes and boxes and boxes just still stacked in the van. And like eight tables were full of stuff, guys. Eight tables were full of stuff. Um, s some people just had a few different things out because that's not what they specialized in. And this my, this was one of those. Um, it's a 36 Ford stock car, right? Uh, the dude wanted a buck for it. I was like, yep, sold. I'll take it. It's a Ertl. But I don't know who Curtis Kreider is. I have to look it up and see if this car has any significance at all. Um, but... You know, just I got to pick stuff up like that, man. Like you can't let it go, right? You can't let it go by. One of the most awesome things, and I might even go back and get more of these. Um, this dude is going to be at the next car show. The, and this is the collector dude, the one that's selling his collection. He said he's got like 15 of these things. I got this truck for three bucks. He said he bought like 15 of them because he was going to steal the wheels and do wheel swaps. So if any if any of you guys need one of these, Sam Walton, the Walmart guy, um, let me know and I'll pick up some of them. You know, I only grabbed one because I didn't want to go broke and I had already bought like 40 or 60 cars from him, I want to say. Um, James is out. Hewitt's. Peace, brother. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Eddie from Simple Customs. I'm in your face. <laughs> what up, man? Eddie, you ain't in my face. You, you in everybody's heart. <laughs> That's funny. I'm in your heart. That's what James said. So yeah, I got that uh I got that that Ford truck. Um oh I see everybody chucking up the deuces to you. Oh, is BJ's leaving? All right, brother. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you being here for a minute. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, I'm going to see this guy at the next show if I can make it. 
and I can get these trucks for three dollars a piece. If anybody needs them, let me know. Um, you know, I'll do that. Right? Boy, oh boy, I'm gonna get into my first, my favorite cars that I picked up today, though. I'm gonna go right to it. Right? I've been asking anybody if they got these cars. The '70 Chevelle, the '70 Chevy Chevelle. Right? It's got the fender flares on it. Subi Diecast Customs just sent me a custom of it. I have the five pack from the night burners from last year that one's actually in the tournament right now um and i have the golf livery i looked it up on the on the hot wheels wiki or whatever there's 15 different versions i highly doubt i'll be able to get all of them um there's a treasure hunt there's a target exclusive red edition there's a zamac there's a uh a, a, a kmart exclusive which i'll probably never find um but I'm going to try to find as many of these as I can, right? Because this is my favorite casting. So if I can find more, I'm going to I'm gonna look for them, you know? But I found two of these at the car show today. This one was two bucks. This one was a buck. So I grabbed them up. Awesome. I was super happy to find, them, find those. Um, just finished, recorded some races for Halloween. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Found an AMC Rebel today. Yeah, James actually sent me one of those. Uh, Mustang Hunter, you have a few of these? If you have a few of these, bro, um, and you got duplicates and you want to work a trade, I will definitely, definitely talk to you on that, bro. Because I don't collect a certain casting, but I think if I am going to, it's going to be this one, you know? So I know you collect Chevelles as well. So if there's nothing to spare, I get that too. But, um... <clears throat> I'm just going to grab, start grabbing cars, bro. Start grabbing cars. I got the 71 Buick Riviera from Hot Wheels City in 2013. It's that Mr. Gasket livery, the Buick Riviera. I don't have many of these. I think I have one, so I grabbed it up, right? This was just thrown in there. It was an extra. Um, it was the guy's last carded car, so he gave it to me. It's the uh, 68 El Camino. It's got that funky motor sticking out the back. Um, might do something with it eventually. We'll see. We shall see. This is where it gets good. 64 Nova station wagon with the flames on there. Hot Wheels Workshop 2013. A lot of 2013 cars. Um, they must have been pumping some stuff out back then, man. Because I wasn't collecting at that time. And I wasn't customizing at that time either, so... Uh, I have a simple customs coming your way of that 70 Chevelle. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to see that, Eddie. I appreciate you doing that. That's super awesome, man. Super awesome. Thank you. I thought I would get into Halloween spirit with the Halloween logo. Awesome. Yep, yep. I see the orange there. Absolutely. freaking lutely It is an awesome casting for sure. I have every variation of that Chevelle that has ever been released, even a wheel variation. Fords, man, you can't tell me that, man. <laughs> you can't tell me that. Oh, my goodness gracious. I am in envy of you right now. I am in envy of you right now. I have them. Cool, man. Cool. Jason, the Mustang, Hunter, MHC, MHC. There's a super of the Chevelle, too. Yeah, I know. I know. It's got that, um, it's got that Summit Racing on it. And, you know, when I saw the super and I saw the Kmart edition and the, um, the Zamac and the red edition, I, I it kind of, like, brought me back a little bit. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to complete this. But, you know, that doesn't mean I can't get the ones that I can find and still enjoy them, right? So, and maybe down the road, I trade some stuff and get the super and all that. You know, you know how this community is. So, um, that wagon is definitely awesome. Definitely awesome. I was looking at the difference between the two. Um, it looks like the same casting, but the hood is cut off of the gasser. And I don't know, maybe that maybe that top is a little higher on the gas, or maybe that's just my eyes. I don't know. 
maybe maybe I could take the gasser and drop it to the ground on this base and then take the flame one and make it into a gasser. That'd be kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I got to go through all the stuff that I bought in the beginning of this, too. Like when I first started collecting, I got a whole tote box full of vintage cars, you know? Yeah, body swap. Yep, definitely. I just have to cut the motor out and, like, transfer it to the the, the other base, which is fine. Or add a different motor. That's cool, too. Um, There's a Super Chevelle Mustang Hunter. Did you ever put the wheels on that Chevelle? That wagon is awesome. Definitely an awesome wagon. Body swap. Sorry, brothers. Sometimes you just have to brag. No, 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 man. I'm, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. I'm just pulling your chain. I I am envious of you to have every casting of this, every version of this awesome car, man. Because out of all cars that Hot Wheels has made that I've seen so far, this is like the perfect casting for me. You know, the way that it sits, the flares, the hood scoop, the wing off the back. I'm a race. I'm a racer. Like in in my blood is racing. Right. This is the my favorite casting. So. That's really cool. My favorite car in the world is the the, the like the 66 67 GTO though. Um but I did I think I saw that they're going to have a Camaro like this with the flares and all that. So that's going to look really cool too. So maybe I maybe I'll start collecting that too. I don't know. I don't know. It is a favorite for me too. Love it. Yep. Absolutely, man. Um next up we got the first edition of the custom 59 Caddy. This is a Coupe de Ville, I believe. Um, Andrew from Maple Leaf Matchbox Makeovers. I'm actually sending this other one out to Switzerland. It came in from Tennessee from Ken. Um, I forget his last name. He only uses the his first name on YouTube, so I'm not going to put it out there. Um, he sent it from Tennessee to send out to Switzerland because Andrew's going to make a Giga Horse from Mad Max with the two castings stacked on top of each other. Um, so that's going to go out, but I found this for a buck and I was like, yep, grabbing it. Got to grab it. A dollar. It was a dollar 29 back in the day at KB toys. So, um, I couldn't pass it up. So it's got the pink, it's got the orange with the, the green lace pinstriping with the white, uh, whatever you want to call them. Awesome. 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 Somebody asked to see the. I always like that 59 caddy. Yep, absolutely. Mike's diecast in the house. What's up, brother? Yo, I have the treasure hunt of that, I think. The caddy, that'd be cool. Um, I don't. I have the treasure hunt of... Hold on. What is it? What is it? It's the Fury. I got the treasure hunt of the 57 Plymouth Fury. This is the Plymouth Fury. TH up there, right? 57. And I'm not a really big treasure hunt collector, but when I find them, I, I grab them. This is from 2009. It actually came in a lot with uh, a bunch of other cars. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> You guys see it? <laughs> yep, it's on there. It's on there. My channel's about to get a strike for that. I don't even care, though. So. What's up, Mike? What's up, Mike? Da, 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 da. 59 is my birth year. So that is your birth car in the pink. And I didn't get to do a painted pink challenge this year, so... Um, I'll show a pink. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go through my collection and show a bunch of pink cars for uh for uh breast cancer awareness this month, right? Man, you had a heck of a score the other day. I haven't seen much of Mike's stuff. I haven't seen much of anybody's stuff, man. Um I just been so busy, guys. We're 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 finally getting Amanda's apartment finished. And, uh, you know, there's just so much going on. So much going on. I got this 2006 Dodge Viper Coupe. Dodge Viper Coupe, which I don't know why they would call it a coupe because they never made a Viper sedan, right? This is the first edition, though. 12 of 38. 
I'm assuming that's the first edition logo there. Um, and this is from 2005. So first edition Viper. For a dollar, man, I was like, yo, I got to grab these cars. Like, And that's why I ended up spending a bunch of money because tuned Ferrari 360 Medina. Tuned Ferrari 360 Medina. I have the Zamac version of this. Two of them, actually. Um, of course, they've been claimed by Amanda. <laughs> uh, but I do have the Zamac version. So um, super cool. Every time I saw a Ferrari, I grabbed it today. Grabbed all the Ferraris. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see what else. Purple Passion, baby. Purple Passion. I don't know if this is the OG one. I don't think it is because it doesn't say first edition or anything. But that is the Purple Passion. Purple Passion. You can't let these go. I mean, even though the card... No, it's not even the card. It's just something stuck to it. All right. This is from... Copyright 1991. Copyright 1991. It's got that brown background, right? For a dollar, man. For a dollar, right? I mean, come on, right? Uh, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it, man. I'm at the. I'm at the. I'm at the table. Like, how much are these cars? And he was like, "Yeah, dollar piece." I'm like, "Okay." I didn't ask any questions. I just started grabbing what I wanted, made the stacks, you know, kept it pushing. Because some of these dudes, you know, they're just they're just there to get rid of whatever they got. They don't they're not collectors. They bought this lot from somebody probably or in a a, a storage unit or something, right? So, um 2007 new model, 70 Pontiac Firebird. 70 Pontiac Firebird. It's got that uh it's got that motor sticking out the f out the hood, kinda. Looks like it's turbocharged, maybe. Yep, that's a turbocharger. Can you see it? Can you see it? Looks a little big. I don't think they got the proportions right on this. And it's got that slant back, kind of like the uh, kind of like the Eleanor had, where the the slant back, you know, how that Mustang was. I think the retooling on this car is better, though the newer one that they did, you know, the 70 Firebird. But um, all in all, I didn't have this one, so I grabbed it, right? Grabbed it up for a buck. Show the passion again. That dude in the house, old man diecast. What's up, brother? Turn yourself in. You stole that purple passion. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. For a dollar, I mean... I know that there's a one with the flame and then there's one with stripes. So I don't know which one is the first edition or not. But um, either way, for a dollar, I don't care. You know, this is something that'll stay in my collection forever. And when I do set up my walls and my display and all that, that's going to be on there. This one I was kind of excited about because I'm not huge on collecting uh, character cars or anything like that. But when I saw this... I was like, yo, I got to have that for a dollar. It's the 1966 TV series Batmobile new model. So this will be the first edition that they did the Batmobile, the original Batmobile, right? This is the, oh, it's not the original, but, you know, whatever. For a buck, man, I was like, yep, I got to have it. Got to have it. That car is hot. Yours is the 93 release. Stripes is first. Okay. I do have the stripe one though, which is which is cool. I think the stripe one I have is loose. So that's the fifth release. Okay, cool. 57 Fords man in the house. What's up, brother? Zelda Racing in the house. Awesome. Fine. Jay. Cool. Yeah, Zelda. I got a lot of cool stuff today. Super excited about this. And um, I'm not I didn't even crack it yet. Oh, hold up. OMD's in the house. Old man diecast. Sit up in your chair. <laughs> Sit up in your chair, brother. I got something to show you. I don't know if you have this or not, but 69 Camaro in the hot 
chicks, hot chickis, hot chickis, hot chickis, orange, 69 Camaro, right? Let me know if you have this or not. All those deals I would have just said, here's my wallet, give me the box. No, man. No, 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 you don't understand. You don't understand the size of this place today. The people, the the one dude was selling his collection. He literally had a box van, like old school Chevy van, the big ones, packed out to the roof, to the ceiling with boxes. I do not have it. Hot skis, okay. Would you like it? Let me know. Let me know if you would like this in your collection. I promise I won't cut the card on it this time. <laughs> uh, it's funny. If you don't have this in your collection, let me know if you would like it. And I'll wait for your answer. Neil Cummins, Mike's Mods and Customs. What is happening, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Old Man Diecast says, how much? Well, because you're my friend, I'm not going to charge you anything because I picked up an extra one for you. All right? I picked this second one up because I knew that if you didn't have it, you were going to want it. So I'll get this in the mail to you. I'm not going to charge you anything. If you want to send me something eventually, um, I will gladly accept it. But me sending this to you is with no expectations of getting anything in return, okay? Um, I, of course, am going to send you the one with the boogered up, which is just a sticker. I'll try to get that off, actually. Um, both cards look pretty clean. So I'm going to send one out to you, man. I got you. You don't got to pay me nothing. You don't got to do nothing. If you want to send me something eventually, that's that. But this car will be coming to you, all right? So that's that. Um, there's a bear in the woods. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, you know, that's what we do for each other, right? This is what this community is about. WD-40 will take that right off. Okay, cool. 100% Mustang Hunter. Yep, yep. Um, 2008 new models. Camaro convertible concept. Camaro convertible concept. Um, I don't think I picked up the double for this one. I think he did have it, but I do have this loose. Yes, I do have this loose. So I have this one loose. It's the same car. Yep. So OMD, let me know if you got this one too. If you don't have this one, um, I'll send I'll send out one of these to you. Okay. That's that. That's the 2008 Camaro convertible concept. Go buy a lottery ticket. You're one lucky dude. That's what is so awesome about this community. Mike, I'm sorry. I know you're a Camaro fan, too. He's a diehard, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. Would love to have the loose one. The concept? You don't have the concept? I'm thinking of opening most of my main lines to help with move space in trailer. Thought. Oh. You talking about your Mustangs, bro? That's that's a tough one, man. If you're talking about your Mustangs, um I'd try to make as much space in that trailer as I could. <laughs> For real, like, but but without opening the cards, um, open everything besides Mustangs, all side castings. In that case, I mean, you got to do what you got to do, right? If uh, if it's gonna be like thought, I think not. <laughs> I won't open Shelby's or Mustangs. I'll tell you what, man, if you want to lighten up your trailer a little bit, you could send me all of these. <laughs> That's funny. Nah, man, I would go as far as I could to not open the carded ones if possible, right? Obviously, you got to do what you got to do. 
but I'd cry with each one. Yeah, Bruce is right, man. <laughs> I know how much of a collector you are, and uh, that's going to hurt, man. That's going to hurt when you get up there and, and all those cards are open that you didn't really want to open, you know? So, I mean, I would do everything that I could to not do that. But you got to do what you got to do, bro. You got a huge move coming. Put them all in the trailer and take out one at a time until they fit. A bigger trailer. Yeah, <laughs> a bigger trailer. Yep. <laughs> uh, when you post in a race, da, da 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 These guys are talking amongst themselves. All right, so so MHD, you said you don't. I, I'm not MHD. OMD, you said you don't have this. I will be sending the loose one. With that hot skis Camaro, put these to the side. Put those to the side. All right. Oh, damn. I just hit my knee. Leave the furniture. Sleep on the floor. <laughs> I'll go master Tetris and then repack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I found another version of my favorite car in real life, the 67 GTO that I didn't have. I don't have this Tampo. I have the black and gold with the same tampo, but different uh, different colors, right? Black with gold stripes. So I had to grab this, a buck, right? The Nitro Door Slammer, 2007 new model. So first edition on the Nitro Door Slammer. Um, just think this is a cool car. Just a cool car, sleek looking, kind of looks like a dragster. I don't think this was a real car. It could have been based on something, but it's got that twin turbo setup. Super cool. 2007 new models, right? Have a great night and an awesome week ahead. Mike's Mods and Customs, I appreciate you, brother. You as well. You as well. Um, Hot Rod Josh's Garage is in the house. What's happening, man? Alex Graff, what's up, brother? Later, Mike. Later, Mike. Yup, yup. Uh, yellow is underrated. It definitely is. It definitely is. I think I have that yellow GTO. Um, I didn't have it, but now I do. I didn't have it, and I seen it. A dollar sold, right? Uh, 2008 new model Corvette Grand Sport. 2008 new model Corvette Grand Sport in that gloss black with the white stripe. And it's, it always, it always, it always, um, I always wondered why they did that in the front. Is that why they call it like the Stingray? I'm not sure. But I've seen this Tampo before on a real race car, and it swoops out. Um, it's got that meatball number two on the side. I learned that from MHD, <laughs> the meatball. <laughs> call that the gumball. But um, And then it's got the two on the front and the back. Just a, a super cool car. This was the first edition, I guess. New model, right? So, Corvette Stingray Grand Sport. Bada bing, bada boom. You definitely hit cold there, Jay. Yo, this this car show is definitely, definitely the place to be for Hot Wheels collectors, right? Um, 2008 new model Camaro convertible concept. So, Camaro convertible concept. 2008 2008 what am i missing here camaro convertible concept same car different tampo i thought first editions were one paint i don't know what i'm missing here see i'm not really a collector so this is where I get lost. The orange has a 2007 copyright. The white has a 2008 copyright. So they both say 2008. Maybe this was a late release and they just slapped new model on there. I don't know. Man, you scored a lot of good stuff, Jay. James, I was cherry picking through these guys' tables like a mofo. Like, and my girl was there, and we got there late too. So that's the other thing. I'm glad I got there so late. We didn't get there till like 12:45. The thing ended at four. It was open from eight in the morning. So imagine how much stuff I missed, you know. 
but that's okay because like I would have went super broke if I if I would have been there at eight o'clock in the morning. You know what I mean? So I'm okay with what I got. I'm not, I didn't even get to the second box yet, guys. I didn't even get to the second box yet. Makes me want to buy more. <laughs> Yeah, man, you don't have to know everything to be a collector. You have to know everything to be the Mustang Hunter. MHD in the house. Yo, if you know anything about this this difference here, bro, let me know. Or even o OMD or any of you guys. If you know, isn't the white one international card? I don't know. He retracted the message, but I read it, so it's there forever. <laughs> I don't know how to know if it's an international card. How do you know if it's an international card? Um, specialty, designer, all that says the same thing. Made in Malaysia or Thailand as marked. USA, USA. Yo, it all says the same. Mattel UK, right? I don't know. If anybody knows um, what's up with this, let me know. They both say... New model, so maybe it was just a recolor. Maybe it was just a recolor. They both have the same tampos on it. It's just different colors. So I don't know. Super cool though. I didn't see that. So that's definitely uh that's definitely gonna be pretty cool to have in the uh collection. 57 Chevy on the card, 94 cents back in the day at Kmart. 57 Chevy on the card. This is from this is from 1991 copyright, right? 57 Chevy on the card for a buck. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. What's a Kmart? <laughs> Kmart is like a Caldor. What's a Caldor? It's like a old a old uh a old Walmart before there was a Walmart. <laughs> um Surf Crate 2000 first edition Surf Crate. This is a super cool car. I have a bunch of loose ones. I don't have the first edition, right? And the difference between the ones I have and this one, the first edition has the surfboard coming out the back. Um, the loose ones I have, none of them have that, you know? And I'm definitely going to gas land one or two of these and maybe make a, a team for the game because this is just a mean-looking car, you know? Um, so we'll get to that eventually, All right? Blue light special, blue light special, baby. 57 Chevy Sweet. Mm -hmm. <coughs> blue light special on Krakow speakers. <laughs> Yo, another new model, AMC Javelin AMX. In that black with the pearl paint. Look at this thing, man. 401 stamped on the side there it's got the gray it's got the silver um silver striping on the front going down the hood amx on the back can you see it can you see it amx and what does it say over there javelin javelin on the left of the wing there amx on the right in the red white and blue which is super cool Super cool, man. They really took the details seriously back then. 2008. Awesome. First edition. Javelin underrated. Absolutely. There's a dude in my in my neighborhood. I don't know if he's in my neighborhood, but definitely in my town that has a Javelin and he's got he's got the big meaty tires on the back, the dump tubes coming out underneath that thing and when he, when he comes up to the stoplight, you know it. That's for sure. You definitely know it. Um, 2003 first edition, 41 Ford pickup tuned for a buck, right? What does it say? Flying 41. Flying 41 on the roof. Bada bing. Love AMC. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. There was a lot of cool cars at the car show today too. And I was going to take video. But it goes back to the same thing that I said last time. I was there with my girl, man. I wanted to enjoy the time. After I got done picking uh, through the tables, 
Like, we just took a nice walk and looked at the cars. I didn't want to be like, oh, I got to record this, and I got to record that, and da 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 Like, you know, just having a good time, man. Me and Amanda had a good time. We ate a hot dog. Uh, we don't, I don't eat hot dogs, but that's all they had. The, the, the sausage was gone. Everything was gone. We got there so late. All right. Dane Self gives me the, the peeper eyes. What are you looking at, bro? <laughs> Javin look looks so good with that old school rake. Yeah, I I agree. Yep. Underrated, sick. What's this Gaslands game you speak of? That's a joke, right, Alex? <laughs> um, if you don't know what Gaslands is, bro, you gotta look it up. Go to my go to my playlist and watch the Gaslands videos. You, you're joking. You gotta be joking. I know you're joking. I have some old Johnny Lightning AMX. Awesome. Awesome. Um, AMX was the, yeah, yep, yep, yep. That was the smaller car, the hatchback, right? That thing's awesome, man. Definitely awesome. Um, another new edition 2009 Corvette ZR1, 2008. It's got that, uh, that, that opening... Well, it's not opening, but it's got the opening in the hood there where you can see through. You see the engine cover, right? 2008 ZR09 uh, ZR1, which if this came out in 2008 and this is a 2009, this would have been like as soon as it came out. Born in 2008. Yep. So this is probably a pretty special car if because this is when it first was being produced, right? Hmm. Nice. Cool. I love Corvettes too, man. I'm I lean more towards the Camaros, but I love Corvettes too. Uh dude, I have a whole collection of 67 GTOs. Let me know if you're interested in them and include basics and premiums. Okay, we could definitely talk. Um I probably have a bunch of stuff you you're interested in too, right? Dane Self, your S200 got knocked out um, of live or diecast ladder war, liver diecast, okay. They had a sh car show in my old neighborhood today. It was tortured driving by as I went to work. Yep, I know it, man. I know the gas lens cars you have been doing. I didn't know if there was a game, quote unquote, because you mentioned teams. Yes, absolutely, there is a game. Um, Gaslands refueled is the updated version. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, because if you buy the first one, then it's not it's not the right one. I mean, you can still play it, but if you buy this one, then you get um you get the updated rules plus the whole game, right? So that's what the that's what the book looks like. Mike Hutchinson is the author. Post-apocalyptic vehicle warfare. If you want to screenshot that, right? Um, and it's a it's a hardcover book. It's got all the rules for everything. I'm not gonna go showing the whole book because you know I don't want copyright infringements or whatever. But you can see how thick it is. You know, there's lots of rules, but it is simplified. Um, and I am no master of the rules either. That book right there should be like 20 bucks on Amazon, I think. And then I went to Etsy and Thomas Wynn Studios. Thomas Wynn Studios, I think it was like 30 bucks. I ordered the templates, uh, the dice, and all that. It's, shoot me an email, bro. I'll get you all the links. I'll get you all the links. Um, da -da 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 -da. It's because MHD is a meatball. <laughs> No, why is everybody crying? What what did I do? Oh, because you couldn't go to the car show? Damn, man, I've I've been looking for that. Yusuf Parker. What you been looking for, man? What you been looking for? The the, the Gaslands game or the one of these cars? Another live one. Sweet. How's it going? Dead phone. What's up, man? What is happening? Sweet AMX. Uh this is the Javelin. AMC AMC Javelin, but close enough. <laughs> close enough, Neil Cummins. Oh, yo, that book is super cool. Howdy, everyone. Subi Doobie Diecast in the house. What's up, brother? 
I'll send out an email for sure. Yeah, man, I'll get you all the links you need. Uh, howdy, that yellow vet. Yeah, that yellow vet's awesome. And it's the first edition, from apparently. So that's cool. If I go back to the next car show and he's got another one, I'll grab it for you. I don't think he did, though. Um, yo, you guys are going to lose it. For $1. Chevy Nova, faster than ever wheels in that blue, that baby blue with the white. Is this the one MHD was talking about where there's a tampo error difference? Maybe. I think he was saying that there's a different something down on the rockers down here or something. Um, I could be wrong. This Hot Wheels is blank back here. I don't know if that makes a difference on anything and this is definitely missing some of the tempo on the on that pinstripe down low but um fte wheels for a dollar on the chevy nova sold i couldn't grab this thing fast enough it's like yep give me that give me that wow hey there subi 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 yo subi check this out um i already showed it to everybody but I found two of the, the car, man. I found two of them today at the car show. And I just I was just telling these guys that I don't really collect one casting. But I think I'm going to try to get as many of the different versions of this as I can. But um, Subi Diecast just sent me an awesome, awesome custom of this car. So if you haven't seen that, scroll back like last week, I think. And, um, and it's actually on the cover of the video so go and check that out man he laced this thing super happy for that man i appreciate you brother definitely appreciate you fte is super sweet yup bruce alex pete hey there subi all right guys let me make some room here i don't want to damage anything so i'm just gonna take my time and move these off move these off i gotta move these off because i got a whole nother box coming I spent some money, guys. You know, I, I it was probably it was probably like fifty or sixty bucks, I think. But you can't find this stuff, man. Like you got to get it when you can get it, you know. And I won't go hunting. And I, and my girl kind of laughed and was like, "Yeah, okay," but she knows I don't. I haven't been hunting like that. I won't go hunting for you know another month after this, you know. If that. If that. I mean, if I pop into a store and they got Hot Wheels, I'll probably go look, you know, but I won't go into the store for that reason. Just because my hunting is done. Like, I just did it, right? And I'd rather go to these these shows, man. I'd rather go to these shows and, and, um, and find this stuff because this is what I like. I like the older stuff, you know? So if anybody's uh, new to the to the stream and hasn't seen the stuff yet, um, this was earlier. I found this the Sam Walton Walmart truck, three bucks. Um, the dude said he's got fifteen of them, so I can get more. Um, I just you know I just grabbed the one. Got this uh, Curtis Kreider's thirty six stock car, and then two of these Treasure Hunt um, Jeff Burton's. One of these is going to get gas landed. Yep, that's happening. Yo, you the going to gas land a treasure hunt, man? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I absolutely am. Where are we at? 70 Chevelle, I'll remember that. Not just the 70 Chevelle, Alex. The, the, the 70 Chevy Chevelle. There's a difference. There's a difference. This is the Chevy Chevelle, right? Mm. This is the 70 Chevelle SS. Both cool cars. But do you see the difference? This one's got the wing on the back. It's got the hood scoop. It's got the roll cage inside. It's got the ground effects. It's got the fender flares. This car is way better than this one, in my opinion. But I do know that this is like the stock version right i mean it's not even it's the fast and furious one 
but it's more of a road car than this is more of a race car. I'm more of a race car guy than a road car guy, right? Like, so I lean towards this one. But this is the one I'm trying to collect, you know? There's 15 different variants of it. A Super Treasure Hunt is one of them. There's a Red Edition, a, a, a Zamac, and a Kmart Edition that I'll probably never find. But, um, you know, I have four of them right now. I have those two. I have the night burners from last year and i have the first edition the gulf that was uh, gifted to me in a in a pack of stuff from my buddy ham so that's that let me see what did i miss what did i miss please do if you can yep that's the corvette i remember that fte is sweet chevelles are sweet love them yep Yep, yep, yep. Nice. The blue light one looks like companion to recent C10. It's only money. Can't take it with you. You're right, Pete. You're right. But with everything going up, you know, you kind of got to you kind of got to watch out now. <laughs> you know, the older we get, the more validity that saying gets. Pete saying, yep. Absolutely. New stuff just doesn't have the same vibes as the old ones. That's that's true, man. And, you know, some of the stuff is cool. Guys, I got a whole nother box here. A whole nother box. What time is it? It's an hour in. We're at 849. I have a guy. Okay. <laughs> uh, shoot me an email, bro. Uh, we'll work something out, man. I'm not expecting any freebies, you know. So I am back from the 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 shower, vet dude. Awesome man. I hope you dried off and put some clothes on. So this is where it gets good, guys. This is where it gets good. If you thought it was good already, <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, you guys are gonna lose your minds here. MHD, you still in the house? MHD, calling MHD. Are you still here? Because I got some things that I need to show you. I got some things that I need to show you. 14 people and only 6 likes. Not good math, but smash that dang like button. <laughs> appreciate you, Pete. I appreciate you, brother. Need to know if MHD is here. And if he's not, then that's cool, too. I can always reach out to him on IG. But I got some cool stuff here, guys. I got some cool stuff here. Almost all of this was a dollar. This one here is Race World Underground Enforcer, right? This is the Enforcer casting. It's got the machine guns on there. It's ready for Gaslands, like right out of the gate. So I grabbed it. It's a buck, right? This is from... 2009 2009 this is where it gets interesting this is where it gets interesting we got two wastelander editions both from 2004 number 169 1970 plymouth roadrunner right hotwheelscollectors.com on the side of it One's in yellow, one's in green. Have not seen MHD in a bit. Yeah, I, he might have split. He's packing his trailer right now, so it's all good. I'm still going to show the stuff, but um, two different cars, two different packages. This one's got bubble the bubble wheels, right? You see the cutouts there? This one's a flat package. Different cards. I don't know I don't know why they do that. Like it's from the same year, same everything. But this again is not is why like I'm not a collector, so I don't know it all, right? Um Hot Wheels Planet. And they got the Wastelander logo. The one that I did for uh last year's Secret Santa had this Wastelander logo on the side of it. Right? It had it on the on the side of it. And it was a 70 Roadrunner. So, 
I'm a little confused on why this says collector.com on it, and it's a Wastelander car. If anybody knows, let me know. Keep it a buck. Yep, these were a buck. These were all a buck. So uh, I, I had to grab them, right? I had to grab them. Um, we got a 71 Plymouth Roadrunner. Another Roadrunner. This is the 71. It's got the flames on there with the wing on the back. Hot Wheels showroom from 2012. Super cool car, right? MHD, uh, not MHD, OMD, Old Man Diecast just did a wheel swap on the current version. The blue and yellow and orange. Um, and Pete, I didn't comment on it or or nothing because I got sidetracked, bro. But I watched, I watched some of it and... Um, you know, I do that a lot sometimes if I get busy, man. I'll start watching somebody's video and um, something will come up, you know, or like my girl will come home and, you know, you get sidetracked. Doesn't mean that I'm not supporting everybody, though. You know, I know I've been kind of MIA on everybody else's channels lately. It's life, man. It's life. But damn, I remember that car when I got it off the pegs. Really? 2012 i definitely was not buying hot wheels at that point so that's cool that's cool we got a chevy pro stock truck babe ruth series oh not babe ruth series but babe ruth livery chevy pro stock pickup truck it's got that wing off the back it's got the bars coming out I have the first edition of this. I think it's orange or pink or something. It's in that tote box I was talking about. This one is from 2001. So it would have been a 2002 release. Super cool. Chevy Silverado, I want to say. S10 maybe. S10 probably. Hooked up. Ready to roll, baby. Ready to roll. Mm. Gotta get the water. <laughs> Gotta get the water. Guys, is this camera angle all right? I had somebody at some point say, hope next time you use a different camera angle. Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I do what I can. Uh, I've been MIA too, homies, but I'm still here for you. Yeah, man, it's all good, brother. It's all good. It's how it goes, man. It is how it goes. So... I wanted to show him that, but it is what it is. Um, I got a Bonneville, 1965 Bonneville, right? 2003. It's got that uh, low rider kind of X fire pinstriping on it, right? Super cool. Super cool. Pontiac Bonneville. Camera is good. Okay, cool. I got the eight crate. This one's kind of dusty. This is the 8 crate from 2005, but it's from the Redline series, right? It's not real riders. They just put Redline tires on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got the Redline tires on it. It's all silver. It's got the Hot Wheels with the R underneath it, which is the Redline. It's got that R there, right? And uh, tinted glass, all silver. Just a cool casting. I like the 8 crate. I've cut up a few of them. <laughs> I've cut up a few of them. Almost have Demon ready for paint. Opening hood harder to do than I thought. Yeah. Yo, I haven't even done an opening hood yet. So, props to you, man. Definitely props to you. I'm a marathon dude. Y'all will post multiple vids and I'll catch up on them all at once. Yeah, I do that too when I get time. You know? I'll start just camera rolling, you know. Uh, but then I get sidetracked because, you know, life comes. Life comes and what are you going to do? Final run. I didn't even notice that until just now. Ferrari 308. Ferrari 308 final run. 2004. It would have been a 2004 copyright. Okay, so... It was the final run with the semi fast, the Sonic Special, the Catapult, and the Hot Seat. 
Ferrari 308. I think we pulled the best car out of out of that. Right. I'll take it. I will take it for a dollar. Amanda's gonna rob that one. She already did. Um, she already did. <laughs> I got her a few a few Ferraris today though, for sure. But if you hang around, you'll see what happens. I'm gonna be doing a Ferrari. So um, I, this was one of them that was earlier in the video. I don't know if you've seen this. It's a tuned Ferrari 360 Medina. I have two of the Zamac versions that I had got in a uh, in a lot that I bought. It was like 30 or 40 cars a while ago. Um, so I got two of those in a Zamac. Now I got this Ferrari Final Run, which I'm going to need to get a protector case for. Because that's a cool car, and I highly doubt that I'll find another one of of these. And if I do, it's not going to be for a dollar, right? So Amanda's definitely going to steal that. She already did. But it's not over yet. It is definitely not over yet. We got the Ferrari 348 in black with the red interior ferrari 348 this is collector 443 from 1997 copyright so it would have been a 98 release right so we got that ferrari in there awesome man i couldn't pass these up for a dollar like you will never ever ever find these ferraris for a dollar BP Custom Creations in the house. What's up, brother? My guy has Rari's too. <laughs> awesome, 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 awesome Ferraris for sure. That three four eight is really nice. The three four eight is the one I just showed. Yeah, yep. This is really nice. It reminds me of the Testarossa, but I think the Testarossa like spread out more in the rear, right? Cool car. I don't like the rims though. I do not like those uh, five-dot rims. Not my thing. But it's still cool. Still cool. Clean cars are way better than the crazy decos. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. And I'll even take the racing decos, though, you know. But some of the other stuff I, I can't do. The flames, though, I will say. The flames, is it needs to stay. I, I love the flame... Uh, Especially the Hot Wheels Flame series. Um, they hook them up. Five spokes would be better for that. Three, four, eight. Yep. The Testarossa was a shade longer. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, another Ferrari. 308 GTS. The Ferrari 308 GTS. I don't know what year it is. It's from 1995 copyright. But I don't know what year it is. Um... If anybody knows what year this car would be, well, you know, drop it in the comment section, right? But it's got that, uh, it's got that Targa top up there. Well, it doesn't have a Targa, but I'm assuming that a Targa would clip in there. Um, super cool. Another Ferrari for a dollar. I like. How could I not? Right? How could I not? <coughs> Black on red is hot. Yep. 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 I spoke and the damn thing sat like four inches off the ground. The Testarossa did. Yeah, you're right. It was it was dropped pretty low. This one looks like it's dropped pretty low too, though. But that Testarossa, man. I remember what was that video game? Uh 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 it was I think it was a Nintendo game. Right? Outrun. Was it Outrun? Had the Ferrari Testarossa on the cover of it. Super cool. Another eight crate. Moon Eyes edition. I figured uh Hewitts would lose his mind over this, but he's already got it probably. He's probably already got this one. Moon Eyes. And it's got their address there, I guess. Super cool. Like the I like the card art too. I wish they would go back to to doing that. Really cool. Really cool. Been looking for that moon eyes. Holy cow. <laughs> really? I'll think about it, Pete. <laughs> I'll think about it. Um, I, I'm not a huge moon eyes collector, but I thought this one was really clean. Um, but if, you, if you've been looking for it, 
then uh, I'll think about throwing that in with the uh, with the other cards I'm going to send you. Are they all going to be stolen by Amanda? That's the real question. Um, they're not stolen by Amanda. I kind of bought them with her knowing that I was buying them for her, basically, for her collection. And you'll see. You'll see in a minute. They're, they're not all going to go to Amanda on this one. Um, they had some they had some extra stuff, and, you know, I grabbed some extra stuff. So, oh, guys, guys. You seen these? Have you seen these? Now, I have seen videos of people tampering with cards like this. So I don't know if these are legit. I don't know if these are legit. I know how to unseal and seal a package, right? Um, Pete, you would be the one to be able to tell if this is tampered with or not, right? Like, I'm not sure. I don't see any residue or white around the edges or anything. But I could be wrong. I mean, somebody could have tampered with something. But this was from the collector guy, too. So I don't think he would have... He, You know, I don't think he would have messed with these. Um, I'll save these to the end. What do you guys think? I, should I open these? Should I open the mystery cars? You guys let me know. You guys let me know if I should open the mystery cars at the end of this video. Um, George Adams, what's up, brother? Hey, Jay, how's it going? It's going, man. I found a lot of cool stuff today at the uh, at the car show. I regret passing up eight crates when they were out because now I realize how much I like that casting. It is a really cool casting. It's kind of like a Nomad. I think it's based off a of Nomad, right? But they got that motor in the back. It looks like a nomad, you know. I don't know. Um, I'd have to put them side by side, but can't do that. But let me know what you want for it if you let it go. I'm your man, Pete. I'll 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 send you an email, man. You know I'm not gonna sell it, Pete. I'm. Let me just say something. I'm not a seller, guys. Um. And I appreciate you saying that, you know, let me know what you want for it. I'm not going to sell you anything out of my collection until I decide if I ever decide that I'm going to start selling cars. That'll be a conversation that I'll have to think of, think about, right? But if I say that I'm going to send something to you, it's not... There's no expectations, right? I paid a dollar for the car. You know, I'm not sure that I'm going to sell you and send you this. If it ends up at your doorstep, then, you know, that's one thing. But you know what I'm saying, man. You know what I'm saying. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Love the mysteries. Old man, how's it going? Yep, yep, yep. I love the mystery cars. They need to bring them back like that instead of the baggies. Yeah, because the baggies ain't really a mystery. You can tell what's in it, like by the code. You just have to read the code, right? I had to break away for dinner. Did you see my comment about the 67 GTOs? Fordsman84, I did see your comment about the 67 GTOs. And I'll be contacting you to uh, to talk. We will definitely we'll talk and we'll see if we can work something out because I I might have some stuff that you want you know, so we 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 could probably figure that out. Um, they don't look like they've been tampered with. Okay, cool. Uh, what are them? The mysteries is a mystery, my man. It's a it's a it's a run that they used to have. Like you would go into the store and you'd find a mystery card, kind of like a chase, I guess. Um. And you don't know what's in it. You don't know what's in it. 36 2007 
new models, 24 code cars, 12 treasure hunt cars, 24 mystery cars, 12 track star cars, 12 teams of four. So I'm assuming you could get any of those in, in one of these. I don't know. I don't know. I wish he had more of them. I would have bought them all. <laughs> I would have bought them all. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> open them. That's the fun of it. Yep. No, no, no. Open, 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 open. That's great, brother. Open them now. <laughs> Yusuf, man, I, I, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm not going to open them now, but I will open them at the end of the video if everybody wants to see that. Um, I'm a Corvette guy. George, I'm a Camaro guy and a Chevy dude and a Corvette guy as well. I lean more towards the Camaros, but I did get the Corvette. Uh, you know what? After this live is over, just scroll back, bro, because it's buried over there, and I don't want to. I don't want to make a huge thing, but I got the first edition, 09 Camaro uh, Corvette ZR1, the yellow, first edition Corvette ZR1. You know what? I'm not gonna do that to you. I'm not gonna do that to you, because you're part of the JDC family and you deserve to see this beautiful car, 2008 new model, right? 09 Corvette ZR1. Look at that. Would you look at it? It's got the tampos on the back. The details are done. Right? Very nice car. Very nice car. And I hit I, I struck the the jackpot today. Seriously. All these cars for a dollar. It was like I couldn't I couldn't. I couldn't believe what I what I came into, man. I really couldn't believe what I came into. Um this one here is a new model as well, 66 Chevy Nova. New model in that champagne color with the black stripes down the middle. 66 Nova, slammed down. It's got that fender cover there over the wheel. Been hitting up flea markets looking for that damn ZR1. Vet dude, I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> If I find a double, you know, uh, I'll I'll make a video, you know, and uh, we can work something out. I think somebody else was just looking for one, too. But if I can find more, you know, I'll definitely share for sure. I need to hit the flea market. Yeah, this was more of a this was more of a, a car show swap meet. That's what it was. It was a swap meet. Right. So all these guys pull in with their trucks and their trailers and then they set up their displays and there's guys selling car parts and crafters and there was a lady sitting there painting so if you brought her a picture of your car she would paint it you know really cool man all types of different stuff there um the dragon wagon 67 gto dragon wagon 67 gto i'm not a huge fan of the tampo you know, it's a it's a Japanese writing or Chinese writing. I'm not sure. It's got the dragon on the side. It does have the flames, which is cool. Which is cool, but it's a 67, so I had to grab it, right? I did have to grab it. Um, I will be honest. I left a 67 GTO Jiffy Lube edition with the real riders on it. I left it there. It was after I bought all this stuff, and then I saw it. I didn't want to spend another eight dollars or whatever he wanted for it, so I left it. Um, and I'll probably regret that later, but it is what it is. Oh, badass, she's a beaut. Uh, got a Veyron out of those mysteries, but that was years ago, and that thing has been has seen better days. I believe it. Yep, open them now. She's a beaut. Da 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 da. Love it. Hit the flea markets. Jay, come to Pittsburgh. I have a guy who sells cars for 50 cents on up. Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm not driving out there for 50 cent cars, bro. <laughs> nah, if I'm ever out that way, though, I'll definitely let it be known. Um, there's... Uh, 
There was there was some fifty cent cars there. Oh, you know what? I got some other stuff, man. Forgot about that. I found some other stuff, guys. I found some other stuff. Goat swap meets are dangerous for me, bro. Yep, 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 yep. I used to collect Hot Wheels and bought three sets in one show. Sold quite a few sets since then. But I love vintage wheels. Yep, still staring at that metal base on that Ferrari. Sweet, minty, fresh. Yep, it is. It definitely is. And you know what, man? That thing will be minty fresh forever because Amanda takes care of her cars. <laughs> yep, spend a hundred dollars in gas. LOL. Well, it ain't just gas, Bruce. I gotta cross the. I gotta cross two bridges. You know, coming in and out of Long Island, man. It's it's a ton. It is a ton, especially if you go over to GW. Forget about it, man. They bang you for like 50, 60 bucks to get off this island. Like coming back and forth. It's ridiculous. Um, and I drive a Suburban, so it's probably $130 now, <laughs> you know, um, so I got some Lucy's, I got some Lucy's, I got another Ferrari, right, this one's, this one's gonna go on the, on the shelf for a custom, I think, I think I convinced Amanda today that she's got enough that, that she can let me do a few customs, and it's not gonna hurt her collection, so that one is up for grabs. I found these Speed Rebels playing Mantis. So this is Johnny Lightning. Is this Johnny Lightning Speed Rebels? It looks like an Oldsmobile 442. They look a little smaller than uh, than the, um, what you call it? They look a little smaller than the Hot Wheels cars. Old school Tampa, Tampa, holla. What's happening? What's happening, Captain? Let me know if you guys know anything about these uh, Speed Rebels. The Dominator, it says. The Dominator Speed Rebels. That's that. I got a few of them. This one is called Speed King Speed Rebels. It looks like a Chevelle. What do you guys got on it? What is this? Is this I'm thinking this is... Uh, Johnny Lightning, right? They're a little bit smaller than the other ones. And then this looks like a boss, vicious villain. This looks like a boss Mustang, right? Or a Cuda, maybe a Plymouth Hemi Cuda. Yeah, probably more like a Cuda. Oh, it says Cuda on the back. Yeah, so I'm thinking these are Johnny Lightnings. So, I swear I have that same Ferrari, The this one up here. This is the, uh, is this the Testarossa? I think it might be. That thing's got some acid might have hit it or something. I don't know. But I got these Speed Rebels. Let me know if you guys know anything about those. I think they're Johnny Lightnings. Akuna Batata, eh? Calvin DePois, what up? What up? Big A's Diecast, what's up, guys? How's everything going tonight? How's everyone doing tonight? Everybody's good, brother. Everybody's good. Just showing off some uh, some stuff that I found at the swap meet at the car show today. Um, Shelby Cobra. Shelby Cobra, open, right? I don't know what we'll do with this. We'll do something with it, though. It's got a metal base. 1982 copyright uh, Hot Wheels birthday edition. So it was part of those birthday cars that they had back in the day. And it's got an opening hood. Opening hood. We're going to do something with this. It needs something done to it, whether it goes into the wasteland or it gets restored in some type of way. We're going to do something with that. So we'll throw that over there. And I got a Porsche 928 by... Play Ali, play, play Ali, made in Hong Kong. I think that's what it says. This thing looks like it's been sitting in antifreeze or something. All battery acid or something. I probably shouldn't even be touching this damn thing. But it's in rough shape. I think we might jack this up to the moon and throw it in the gas lens as well. Right after I wash my desk off here because... 
Yeah. Um, we got a Matchbox Super Fast. Number 60, Holden. Number 60, Holden Pickup. Made in England, 1977. It's in rough shape. Um, some of these cars I might end up sending over to... I got a package going to Switzerland. To Andrew at Maple Leaf Customs. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna skim through all my stuff and send him a bunch of stuff while I'm at it, right? So um, that one I think that one's going to him. He doesn't know what I'm sending him yet, so that's that. Those are all the loose cards I got, and we're not done, guys. We are not done. I got a whole bunch of stuff still. Let's see. I right, catch up on the comments here. Speed Rebels is a vintage line of Johnny Lightning. Okay, that's what I figured. That's what I thought. Um. Pete, are they color changing? Because they got like this fluorescent paint on it. Maybe that's just the way that it, they were? Or are they the ones where you get the water on them and they change color? I'm not sure about that. Akuda Matata. <laughs> <coughs> Big A, holla, holla, holla. Big A. Been missing some livery. Sorry, bro. Some livy lives. Oh, I got you. I got you. It's all good, man. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry at all, guys. I do this for fun, you know? My channel's not monetized or anything like that. I'm not making any money off this. I don't have a PayPal or uh Amazon um, thing or any of that, you know? I've been doing this stuff for fun. At some point in time, do I flip the switch? Maybe. But, you know, you don't got to feel sorry for missing any of my videos, you know? I put this stuff out there so that people can enjoy what I do, try to take some value from my builds, my techniques and stuff like that, and um, and I can be part of the community, you know? So don't feel sorry or anything, man. Um, let's go back a little bit. What's up, Dane? Make it a full-on race car. Which one was that? The Cobra? I could do that. I could definitely do that. Absolutely. That's actually a great idea, Pete. Full roll cage. Clean up that windshield. Yep, we could definitely do something with that. No worries, brother. I've been doing live streams. I haven't been doing live streams for a while. Life has been very busy. I ain't complaining, though. Y'all, I hear you, man. I definitely hear you on that. I have the 9282, man. been digging through my box of childhood cars. <laughs> You've been digging. Nah, I ain't been digging through none of your stuff, bro. I went to the swap meet unless somebody else stole it and sold it to me. <laughs> Yesterday, Walmart finally restocked all the Hot Wheels at the months. No joke. Some rich guy came and wiped them out. And only thing besides fantasy cars I was able to get was a Land Rover they missed. You should have waited till he turned his back and stole his shopping cart. <laughs> YOLO guy. What's up, man? Now that I know. Not that I know of. Okay. So they don't, they're not color changes so i'm making a post-apocalyptic land rover sweet awesome no ig for me going to bed going to get bad when they drop all at once free for all yeah no joke very nice cars jay yep still not done i still got a half a box over here i'm just trying to catch up on the uh catching up going to send you an email the, those guys are getting together I'm just going to make my donation finally. Uh, you don't have to worry about a donation, bro. Take your time, man. If you end up sending me a car, that's cool. And we appreciate all you teach us, Jay. Say, likewise, Pete, you definitely teach the community a lot of stuff. And you taught me a bunch of stuff that I didn't know. Um, and I know that there's still a bunch of videos of yours that I haven't been able to get to. Um, because of time, you know. But you're welcome, and thank you for, for doing your part and helping everybody out, man. It's a full circle, man. It definitely is. And a lot of the information is recycled, you know, that I've found from other channels. A lot of my techniques I got from from uh, from other channels that aren't diecast channels, you know. So that that's just me doing my part of bringing in that information and giving it back, right? Like... You know, I take a lot of uh, advice from terrain builders and stuff when I do my post-apocalyptic stuff. So, 
True words, Big A. What do you say? That's a good attitude to have, brother. Love what you do. Or don't do it at all. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. And that's why I don't really get discouraged when I when like I went to this this uh Hot Wheels show last week. Um, a group on Long Island where I live, you know, I I became part of this group or whatever. And I went there and for the majority of the guys they were cool, but then there was a couple guys that were like scalping, you know? And that kind of rubbed me the wrong way, but at the same time I was like, you know what? It is what it is. You know, they'll do what they do. They either sell their stuff or they don't. And I'll still go around and find cool stuff like this. And I'll give out good deals to people um, by giving away my stuff. Like, I usually give away my customs and stuff to the people that I want to or to my my community, you know? So, all right. Let me get back to this. Um, Alex can't find it. Can you hit me up, please? Uh, da, 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 da. Some videos. Go check them out. Yep, yep, yep. Big A, I definitely got to be honest. I need to catch up on your channel because I haven't been able to get there, man. I've just been, like I said, I've been super busy. Um, keeping it fresh to pass on and knee it to the f forefront. Yep. Thanks, Bruce. Dude, how many cars do you have now? It's awesome to find these hidden gems. I don't want to answer that question, Ben. <laughs> I don't want to answer the question because I honestly don't know. Um, it's became an addiction, but I have I have definitely controlled it somewhat. Um, but it has definitely became an addiction because these cars are so cool, man. And I, and I like to see them and I like to look at them for inspiration and especially the older stuff, you know. Um, we'll do a da, da 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 da. You guys are talking to each other, talking about that. Jay, I got some cash to throw your way if you sell me some castings. Nah, man, I'm I appreciate the offer, you know, but I'm not I'm not in this to sell anything. Um, if you if you tell me what you what you're interested in, um, you're you've been a supporter of my channel, I might send you something, you know, but. I'm not selling anything at the moment. Um, geez, that one box his buddy gave him had about 400 cars in it. <laughs> um, yeah, he definitely hooked it up, you know, and I don't think it was 400 cars, Pete, but it was there was a, there was a lot of cars in there for sure. I'm gradually catching up to your videos, old man. Yep. Da -da 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 -da. What about the addiction and some of the. Are there bad addictions? Yeah, absolutely. Man, I'm with you on that, Jay. I love all my cars. Big A's, no worries, buddy. We all have busy lives. Okay, I'm caught up. I can stop anytime I want to. <laughs> You're a liar. You're a liar, Ben. <laughs> Muscle cars and JDMs, bro. So if you're not selling anything as of now, I'll wait till you're good. Yeah, just shoot me an email. Um, shoot me an email. We'll work something out. For sure, DK cash cars, car parts. So, da, 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 da. so you found some wheels and grills in the attic of my. Yeah, yep. Can't count what you got in any form of the car hobby. So one thing that I did see is if you find an old Chevy grill, you can actually make that into a Hot Wheels display. Um, especially like the Caprice grills that are like uh, rectangle and they got the slits in them. You could, you could, you could. Somebody, somebody I saw on Instagram actually made that. They framed it out. They put a backdrop on it. Boom. They put their Hot Wheels in there. It's hanging on the wall. It looked awesome. Looks super cool. Uh, at least your girl is on board. Yeah, she doesn't care, man. She's like, she's like, you know, I don't give her a hard time about anything that she does when she wants to get her nails done or her hair did or whatever. Um. You know, so if I want to go to one of these shows every once in a while or come home from Walmart with a couple of cars, like as long as we got food on the table and a roof over our head and the bills are paid, there's no worries. You know what I mean? This is what this is what life is about. Enjoying what you do. Right. If you drink brake fluid, you can stop anytime. <laughs> PSA, don't drink brake fluid, please. <laughs> 
I visit a lot of lives and no offense or disrespect to anyone at all, but your lives are always so much fun. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, Pete. You know, I try to uh, be as real as I can and give everybody a fun experience, right? And and that's one of the things, but I don't I don't know. I don't know if what I do is entertaining or not, right? People people tell me that like I do a good job and stuff, but like I don't sit there and watch it live, you know, and I usually don't go back and watch my lives. So to hear that, I appreciate it, man. I definitely appreciate that. Um, bro, that is super cool. I wonder if cars fit in any of my MK2 VW grills. Um, if they have flat surfaces, probably. If not, you could probably work something out, you know, adding slats inside of your, uh, inside of the grill or whatever. You could definitely just use your imagination, man. If you're any type of crafty, which I know you are, um, just look at it, you know, go to the junkyard, find a VW, uh, thing. Maybe it's got one with the VW logo and some slotted across the front. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't watch too many lives anymore, but I'll watch yours when I can. Appreciate that, brother. Um, all right, let me get back to some cars here, man. Um, Pete, you're going to lose your mind when you see this. I'm going to tell you right now. You're going to lose your mind, and there's, I, 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 there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it. It is a 67 Camaro, opening hood, metal base. 67 Camaro number 448 from 1995. Old man die cast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Do you have this car? That's a question that I do want to ask you. Do you have this 67 Camaro with the opening hood? Um, these blue cards cost me two bucks today. They weren't just a dollar. They were two dollars. Um, but that's okay. You know? I don't mind paying a dollar extra for the older cars that are mint condition from a collector that I know took care of it. The card is not bent at all. You know, just, just a, just a clean car, um, something that you'll never come across again, right? And it's got the black stripes. It does have the black stripes. Is there a version that doesn't have the black stripes, vet dude? If you guys are interested, I'm buying diecast cars. I highly recommend recommend Hewitt's Hot Wheels. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, da, 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 da. yeah Big A, everybody in the, in here. Um, and, and good on you for shouting Hewitt's out. Definitely good on you for doing that. Um, but if anybody in here is watching my channel, they're definitely subbed up to James. Um, you know, we're tight. Me and James talk all the time. He's in all of my videos. All of my lives, usually. He was actually in here a little while ago. Um, good on you for shouting him out, though. If anybody needs Hot Wheels cards, go to HewittsDieCast.com and go go see what he's got. Go see what he's got. Um, close to buying one of those loose ones. Beautiful. All right, my guys. I got to go get back to work. Get some work done. Take it easy. Ben, take it easy, brother, all the way in Japan. Yo, if you guys haven't seen his work, go sub up to BP Custom Creations. The guy's killing it. He just did a flying hover Porsche that he sends into Switzerland to Andrew. You got to go check him out, man. Definitely go check him out. Calvin, um, definitely go check out Hewitt's. He's got the website. He, he sells his cars for cost, basically. I think he makes a dollar on each one, you know? And then at the end of the day, um, you're supporting you're supporting the guy in our community that's that's hooking everybody up, right? <clears throat> OG diecast, what's up, man? What is happening? Pete, are you here? OMD, I need to know if you got this car, bro. If you walked away from your computer and you hear me, come back. And let me know if you have the 67 Camaro with the opening hood from 1995. I need to know. I'll leave it up here so you can see it when you come back. All right. Next up, Chevy Stalker. Chevy Stalker, I think it's Illumina. I think it's Illumina. It's from 19... Where is it? 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 1991. 1991 Chevy Stalker. It's got that Chevrolet number one on it with the red Chevy symbol. Blue card. Two bucks. Couldn't pass it up. He fell asleep. <laughs> he was just talking. He was literally just talking. I want to know how a car has been on card for 20 plus years. Um, this was a collector, bro. He had a, a van full of boxes and like he had like eight tables out. Like the guy's stuff is all pristine, you know? Um, so that's how these cards were were still on card and in great shape, you know? Put this up here. Put and start a junkyard over here. We got a 1967 Chevelle SS Super Sport, right? In the red with the white and black tampo on the side. 396. 2011 copyright it's from the muscle mania 2012 right saw that had to get it short card ford mustang dragster short card ford mustang dragster this is why i was asking if uh mhd was still here before this is a metal base metal body super heavy car super heavy car hot wheels logo on the side got the flames super awesome Super awesome. This is one of those opening cars, I think. Yep, it's got the hinge back there. Super cool. A dollar? You got to be kidding me, right? You got to be kidding me, right? I got to go. I was good chatting with you. Take care. Happy hunting and God bless. Da, 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 da. I love you and your loved ones. Deuces. Big A's Diecast. I appreciate you stopping by, brother. Definitely appreciate you stopping by. Have a good week, man. Hewitt's old man, Jay, makes nice customs. Yup, he definitely do. Honest and fair reseller. Deserve our support. Two to three dollars or even five dollars for something older as well. He's eBay 20. Yup, us old guys can do that in an instant though. What, what are we talking about, Bruce? He fell asleep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, da, 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 da. Short cards are getting kind of hard to find. In mint condition. Yeah, this one's mint. And it's got a little bit of a... Edge is a little cracked there. Not cracked, but you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no problem. It was a pleasure being here. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Hope you come back sometime. Any trucks? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yep. OG Diecast, if you missed it. You missed what I did earlier. I showed some of the stuff. I got this Sam Walton 1979 Ford Road to Success. This was the Walmart guy, the guy that started Walmart. Um, three bucks. I picked this up at the at the thing, right? Pretty cool. And I think there was a drag truck in there somewhere, but I'm not gonna dig for it right now. Um, we're still not done, guys. We are still not done. 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1 Annapolis Fire Rescue Mustang Mach 1 in the Annapolis Fire Rescue right it is from 2010 copyright 2011 Main Street series super cool super cool I had that Walton truck at one time um well the guy's got 15 more of them so let me know if you want it again. Um, it cost me three bucks. I can get another one for three bucks probably, right? <clears throat> Old man, you're back. Do you have this car? Do you have this car? The 67 Camaro with the opening hood, metal base, 67 Camaro. Do you have that? I want to know. I want to know. It is from 1995, I believe. Yeah, 1995 copyright. Um, Pride's, Pride Rides. Mustang 1968. Pride Rides Mustang 1968 with the flame tampo on there. 68 Mustang. In the green, I think it's got a blue or a purple. No, it's a clear. It's a clear glass, but a blue interior. So it makes the glass look blue. So that's a cool one. Grabbed it. Metal base, metal body. One dollar. Not on card. I just got a Lucy 
from Ford Fan. Okay. Okay. This one I thought was super cool. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. Roll Patrol Firebird Funny Car. It's a cop car, funny car. The Roll Patrol, blacked out. It's got that matte black paint job with the star on the side. Black rims. It's an opening casting. This is from 2002 copyright, so 2003. 2003, Planet Hot Wheels. There you go. <clears throat> Roll Patrol. Uh, da, 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 da. A&M castings with damage and messed up are very beautiful anyway and have so much potential. Can be restored, turned into a Mad Max build and all. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nothing gets wasted over here. Not on cards. Sorry. Listening to live and editing video, not so easy. No, no, no. You're good, man. I just wanted to know if you had it. I wanted to know you if you had it, and I wanted to know if you had it on card. Because I grabbed an extra one. I actually grabbed an extra two. <laughs> I grabbed an extra two because I want to do some customs on them. Um, so, yeah, that's that. I got three of them. Three of them bad boys. And I wanted to do some customs on them. We'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Have that Pride Ride Mustang loose. Osvaldo Ride or Diecast Truilo. Did I say that right? Did I say that right or did I butcher it? Osvaldo Ride or Diecast Truilo. <laughs> it could have been Spanish. That matte finish looks great on the funny car. Yeah, man, that's why I grabbed it. I was like, yo, that's sick. That is super sick. A dollar? I mean, come on. You know, like, I couldn't, I couldn't pass this stuff up, man. Why'd you have to pull out a Mustang? <laughs> I got a bunch of Mustangs, you know, and I'm not a huge Mustang guy, but, you know, I, I, I grab the ones I like. I grab stuff that I like, you know. Amazing Cars is in the house. What's happening, man? What's in the mystery model cars? We're going to find out eventually. Um, We're going to find out, Reese. Yeah, man, I'm going to open those eventually. Uh, Your boy, Naruto, has sub finally preparing for a lot of crazy... All right, so we're going to get to the next one. You're going to get to the next one. Yeah, Naruto is undercover in here. <laughs> the undercover. I got this other 67 Chevelle. So it's the matching. It's the matching for the red. It's that same tampo, but in green. And green is my favorite color. So I seen it. I was like, yep, I'm grabbing that. Scan and track on back. I don't know what that's about. Maybe scan for an app or something with the track your Hot Wheels, maybe. Um, not too sure. But got that Chevelle. Right? Not my favorite Chevelle casting, but I still like them. I still like them. 67 Chevelle, right? Du -du 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 -du, sweet, more the merrier. All are welcome. Yep, yep, yep. You got it, right? You got it in the dot. Awesome. Awesome. I, I, I used to work with a lot of Spanish guys, so I do know how to uh, read and say some some words. Um, but I do butcher some stuff, too. <laughs> I definitely do. That is pre-ID days. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I guess so it was like a tracking. So when you when you scanned it, you could track what cars you had, maybe. Keep it in like a... a in like an app, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I need to go to the flea market soon. I miss finding old Hot Wheels for dirt cheap. Yep, absolutely. absolutely, freaking lootly I picked this one up. Dodge Concept Car. Liver Die Cast has been killing all the racetracks I see out there with this Dodge Concept Car. So I grabbed it. I know it's fast. I don't know where it's going to end up, but it's probably going to get sent out to race somewhere. So that's that. Dodge Concept Car from 2002, 2001 copyright. That's that. Liver die cast. I'm coming for you, bro. <laughs> Have Hot Wheels Ferrari 250 GTO 250 LM Enzo Ferrari 333P458 Italian Coupe and Spider. 
funny you say that. It is funny you say that because up next, it ain't over, baby. It is not over. It is not over. Ferrari 348 in yellow. Plastic base. Plastic base. That's the metal base. Yep. All right. So we got the 348 in yellow. We got the 348 in black. This is 20, 1997. This is 2001. Right? So the yellow one came out two years later. I like the black one. I like the black one better. They put that pearl in the paint. It's got that nice sparkle, the flake. But a Ferrari, nonetheless. Hate to, but I got to go finish video off the bed. Everybody have a blessed week and peace. OMD, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you. Thanks for sticking sticking in here for a while. And um, I'll post up what's in these mystery uh, things. You know, maybe I'll just drop a video tonight and what's on what's in those. Maybe I'll do that after this live is over. I will open those up, record the video and drop it immediately. So everybody can see what these lot these mysteries are about. Right. I'm going to I think I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to make a separate video, maybe a short or something. I never made a short before, but. Um. I'm going to go next time. I had that Dodge Concept car loose. Yeah, I do too. Um, it's actually in my little racing league right now. But uh, it's it's this one's on the card, so I know the axles aren't bent or anything. Um, you two old men go to sleep. -da 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 -da. See you soon, Pete. Have a great one. Miss the old metal bases. Wish they never cheaped out. Yep. Forgot, forgot I have so many Hot Wheels Ferrari cars. Lost track of which Hot Wheels Ferrari cars I have now. Amanda had it somewhere stalking that Ferrari. I can see it now. She's already seen them all. <laughs> she was with me when I bought them. So she knows she's got some Ferraris coming into the collection. Um, open them live. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> Thinking of dropping a video tomorrow if weather permits. Um, next up we have... The Ferrari 250, the Ferrari 250, and I got two of them. I got two of these. They were two bucks each. They had four. I didn't want to take them all. I didn't want to take them all because they were two dollars each, right? And I and I had already had like a ton of cars. So um, yeah, that's that. So I grabbed two of these. One of these will probably be end up being a custom. Um, I already talked to Amanda, and she knows that I'm probably going to use one of these cars for a custom. And then I believe these are the 250 as well, just uh, rebranded as Classic Ferrari. So I got two of these. All right. Ferrari day. It's Ferrari day. Yo, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. This one is black grill. This one's chrome grill. This one's black Pipes. This one's chrome pipes. Do we have a variation here? I think we do. It's either a variation or an error. I'm not sure. But these aren't getting opened. I'll tell you that right now. Those are not going to get opened. So I'll end up customing one of these probably. So that's that. Right? Oh, da, 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 da. thinking of dropping a video da, 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 da. see she seen she knew she owns <laughs> yes i know <laughs> she does who's got a cold one cheers 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 that's a nice color i have the yellow version of the 250 bruce let me know does it have a blue or a chrome grill in there if you see it yes i've been showing my work awesome i love i love i love hearing that subi I'm going to have to go check out your channel and make sure I got the bell locked on to all notifications. Um, with that being said, if you guys are still here and you haven't hit the like button, smash that bad boy. 
because I still got a bunch of cars to show here. And we are two hours in. It's 947. Would you like would you would you would you just look at it? <laughs> I got yellow and a black 250. Y'all remember something? I picked up two far castings for you, bro. They're really old and not in good condition, though. That's fine. I will always take a Ferrari casting, and Amanda will too. And if they're a duplicate of what she's got already, then I have an argument to steal it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> any dub cities? Nah, not really. I think I do have one or two, but they're packed away. Looking forward to seeing more from you, Subi. Absolutely. I have a loose green 250 and a carded silver 250. Mine has the chrome grill. So this black one might be an error or a variation. I'm not sure. I'm not a collector. But that thing's got black pipes and a black grill. So they either forgot to chrome it or it's a variation, right? Either way, still cool. Still very cool. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. You can't do the grand finale before the grand finale. Right. Right. Oh, guys, I got some cool cars here coming up. You thought it was over? You thought it was cool? You, it's just getting started. It is just getting started, baby. Nah, I'm going to try to wrap this up soon. <laughs> I am going to start to try to wrap this up soon, but it's it's definitely cool. It is cool, 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 baby. And before we get into this other stuff, we got another Ferrari here. 360 Medina. 2001 collector. It's black with that pearl flake in there, silver flake. Looks like it's got a chip in there. Or something. Paint chip or something. Right up on the, you guys see that? Right on the left fender. Like if you're sitting in the car. There's a piece of paint flipped up there. It's kind of hard to see. Could just be a chip from something. I don't know. 360 Medina in the house. <coughs> right, right, right. Variation. Okay, okay. So it's not an error. And then I got a few more cars before I go ham. A few more cars before I go ham on them. You guys are going to lose your minds when you see what I got coming up. Uh, another 64. Oh, this is a 64 Chevy Chevelle, right? So this is the version that the Urban Walker, right? Or what, what is it called? I forget. Um, Magnus Walker. The Magnus Walker one that's out right now, the blue one. This is that Chevy Chevelle from 2011 copyright. So 2012 with that motor sticking out of the hood. Super cool car. Super cool car. We got a 68 Hemi Barracuda. And I believe this is a wheel a wheel error. It's got a black wheel on the front that's not chromed. So that could be a wheel error. Either way, I think it's super cool. Right? Right, 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 right. It looks like it. The whole front end is damaged on this thing. No, nah, it's just a bad pan, a bad tampo. Can you guys see that? Look at the tampo on that thing, all chipped up. All chipped up. Andre Cruz in the house. What up, bro? Oh, Jesus, you two got me at McD's late for breakfast. <laughs> Uh, did someone send Amanda the Hall of Fame Medina? Hall of Fame Medina? No, I don't know what that is. I know she got a Medina, but it's, I think it's this one. I got to check, Bruce. I don't know what a Hall of Fame Medina is. I have that Chevelle. Remember, I used to bring it to the car, to the races every Sunday. Awesome. Just had mini stroke after seeing gas. It was 403 in mid-Pennsylvania. No. No, no, no. Damn. 
It's a damn shame, man. It's time to ride bicycles again. Gary from Shorters is back. What's up, brother? Dre out here with a McMuffin watching the toy car video. <laughs> Go to sleep, Gary. Yup, errors. Uh, yo, Andre, what's up? I meant to say carded. I don't know what you meant. Nope. What's up, all the homies? Carded. Yo, Andre, I don't know if you've seen the racing video, bro, but that custom, you, you, you go see that racing video I just put out. Yep. Mm-hmm. Thought 315 a gallon was bad. It's about 349 out here on Long Island right now. You know, you would know it looks like a treasure hunt. You would know it looks like a treasure hunt. Uh, I don't think so, Bruce. I do not think so. Um, I have a Hot Wheels All-Stars car. Cool. I don't know what that is either. Hot Wheels All-Stars Ferrari? Send it over here. <laughs> Chilling, Andre. Arguing with Andre. 403 in the South. All right. So, 66 Chevy Nova. 66 Chevy Nova. Guys, I couldn't stop buying these cars. They were a dollar a piece. They're a dollar a piece. I probably spent... 50, 60 bucks or whatever it was. I don't know how many cars I showed so far. I spent some money, but you know what? It is what it is. Look at this car. Look how clean this thing is, man. For $1, you can't get this anywhere. You cannot get this car right now. Not like that. 2012, it's a 2011 copyright. So in 2012, Chevy Nova, 66, basically the Chevy 2. Thing is sick, man. I love these cars. Um, da 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 da, bro. Thirty-five. Da, 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 da. You guys are talking about gas. I know some place in Cali. And da, da da da. You guys are talking about gas. Just picked up the Nova a few weeks ago for six bucks. Damn. Need that, Jay. I need it too. <laughs> uh, I don't watch any sports. Amazing cars. I'm sorry, man. I don't watch any. Uh, any sports, so I can't answer any of those questions. Um, 26 miles per gallon. All right, so this is where it gets real, guys. This is where it gets real. If you're a Hot Wheels race team fan, fanatic, whatever, stick around. Stick around as I clear off the bench here so I can make some room. Because we ain't done. We're almost done. I'll say that. But we ain't done. We are not done. I told you I spent some I spent some dollars. I spent some dollars. But I think we came out. I can't I think we came out on top. I think we did. I think we did good today. And I had fun. I had fun. I know Amanda had fun. And I was looking forward to this, so that's cool. It was a cool day. It was a colder day. I'll say that. It was definitely colder out there. Winter's coming, guys. Winter is coming. Make sure you got oil in the house. If you got the money to stock up your house on oil, do it now. Because the price is only going up. I'll tell you that right now. Do it now. ASAP. ASAP. All right. Get these off of here. Bada bing, bada boom. And I know you guys are waiting for these mystery things. I might make that its own video, though. I might make that its own video. Just so everybody can see it. Because that's something rare now. You don't see those things every day. Um, so, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, hopefully that doesn't fall over. I got them stacked like Jenga over here. <clears throat> hopefully the truck doesn't drive into a pond again. What you doing driving in the ponds, bro? <clears throat> Attention and focus mode on. All right, cool. If you guys like Hot Wheels race team, here we go. Raise... Astros and cheaters go better. Oh, you guys are talking baseball. Okay. Um, I'm about to convert my vehicle. Use 
Yeah, I know. To use the grease, man. I know you can do it for a couple hundred dollars. I hear. I heard that. I definitely heard that. But you know what, Andre? Next thing you know, they'll make that illegal. <laughs> Next thing you know, they'll make that illegal. All right, so first off, we got the Hot Wheels Boulevard Bruiser in the Hot Wheels Race Team Tampo, right? Boulevard Bruiser. Mean-looking car. Don't know what it's based off of, but it looks sick. 2012 copyright. 2012 copyright Hot Wheels Race Team, right? Bada bang. Let me just get these off of here, too. Get those off of there so I don't hurt nobody's feelings when I don't open them on the live. Boom. Boulevard Bruiser. Hot Wheels Race Team. Yep, just like the wood stove. Yep. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. We got Hot Wheels Race Team 69 Camaro. 69 Camaro Stingray. Hot Wheels Race Team, right? Yo, this dude was selling these cars for a dollar. A dollar each, man. I didn't even have to go through no pegs to find the cars I wanted. They were all laid out on the table. Like, give me that. 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 <laughs> give me that, too. I'd buy that for a dollar. Need that, Jay. I know. I need it, too, brother. <laughs> need it, too, brother. Yep. 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 That's what I was talking about. All right, so we got, oh, 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 I'm wrecking the place, Corvette, sure, it's not a Corvette Stingray. Yeah, it's a Stingray, but it's a 69 Corvette, I mean, it's the same thing, Corvette is a Stingray, Stingray is a Corvette, but the Stingray is the 69 and the 70, I don't vet, dude, you know better than me, man. You, you know better than me. The 69, the Stingray has the flares, right? The flare, the fender flares. It looks like a, the, I don't know, for some reason it reminds me of a shark, right? And then um the, the, the other, the 64 or so is going to have the split window and like the round window, but it's going to come down in the back. You know, it's, it's a Stingray. They're both Stingrays. It's just a way, it's, it's a classification. Camaro instead of Corvette. Oh, my bad. My bad. That's a Corvette. Yep. 69 Corvette in the Hot Wheels race team, baby. Hot Wheels race team. You said it was a Camaro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said it was a Camaro, not Corvette, by the way. All right. All right. You guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. It's not a Camaro. It's a Corvette. It's not. <laughs> you said it was a 69 Camaro. <laughs> DT99 race in the house. What's up, brother? Oh man, you just missed it. I don't know if you've been here. How long you been here, bro? Did you see Did you see what I picked up today? Did you see the Camaros? Hold up. I got to find them now. I got to find them now cuz if anybody doesn't know, he sent me a custom. He sent me a custom of this car. He sent me a custom of this car. Sixty-seven, Camaro, metal base, opening hoods. Look at that. A dollar a piece. Oh, two dollars a piece. I'm sorry. The blue cards. Two dollars a piece. I couldn't believe myself. I could not believe it. Right? Crazy. 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 Oh yeah. Just joined. Um. You know what? I'll, I'll show you guys Jimmy's. T99 races custom. It's a downhill car too, but after I'm done showing it, I gotta put him back on the bracket. Unfortunately, he lost his race. So this is the custom, right? The custom that he sent out. Look at this thing. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Beautiful car. Thank you, brother. This thing is cherished, man. Absolutely cherished. Put him 
back on the on the bracket over here. I hope you guys are enjoying the race, man. The race setup that I got going on. <clears throat> I see that yours has headlights. Yep. Yep. I see that. I'm assuming you added them. <laughs> I'm assuming those got lead in them. Um, all right, so we're going to keep rolling. We're going to keep rolling. I got the 2011 new models. Danica Patrick 2010 Chevy Impala in the Hot Wheels race team. It says Danica Patrick on the door there. I didn't even know this was Danica Patrick. I just seen Chevy Impala, right? Um, and I don't know if it's supposed to be like a matte, but I guess it, it's not. It's got a gloss finish to it. It's just different. Chevy Impala, Hot Wheels race team, grabbed it, a dollar. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, nah. Oh, man, bro. I need that, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man. I've been hearing that all night, bro. I've been hearing it all night. I'm sorry. Anyone else getting buffering? Your Andrew Dice Clay racing is cool, Jay. Thanks, brother. <laughs> is the connection chopping out? We're at two hours and 15 minutes, so it might be. Um, I'll wrap this up quick. 60, uh, the custom Volkswagen Beetle in the Hot Wheels race team. Got that for a buck, right? Bada bing, bada boom. Hot Wheels race team Beetle. Can't pass it up, man. Can't pass it up. Got the Hot Wheels race team Bone Shaker. Bone Shaker, baby. For a buck. I don't know if they're all numbered differently. This is 2011 copyright. So maybe they're all numbered differently. I don't know. I got to learn more about this stuff. I'm not a collector. It's the whole internet. Data sucks in the ports too. Shortest. Just got the new Q case at Walmart this evening. Nice, Gary. I don't know what's in that, but... That's cool. That is super cool. 67 Pontiac GTO. One of my favorite cars. And I found it in the Hot Wheels race team. Would you look at it? Look at this thing, man. The thing is beautiful. And it's got some decal errors, but super cool, man. Super cool. I was so I was when I saw that, I was like, yep, give me that. Man, I need a bigger box. That's all I told the dude. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got, I need a bigger box. <laughs> uh, got bad internet already from my can. I got it. Don't worry. Awesome. Meant to say their channel's name and put a mistake in the live chat. Got the super out of it. Nice, Gary. Nice. Yeah, I definitely dig this GTO as well. Um. In real life, this is one of my favorite cars. The 66, 67 GTO. It's just super smooth, man. Like, I don't know. Something about it. Between that, the Novas, the square body Novas, you know, um, Chevelles. Oh, oh, oh. DT99 race. I was talking about this earlier. This is my favorite casting. This is my favorite casting, and I found two of them today. I found two of them, and I, I'm going to start trying to find these things to collect them. But I highly doubt I'll be able to fulfill the collection because there's a treasure, there's a super treasure hunt. There's a Zamac edition. There's a Red edition, and there's a Kmart exclusive that I probably will never find. That. I think there might have been a Toys R Us exclusive too. Um, but I will try to find the ones that I can and collect the ones that I can find, you know. And if I get doubles of them, then, you know, that's cool. And maybe I could do some custom stuff. But this this casting is my favorite casting overall. The way that they did the fender flares, the hood scoop, the wing on there, the diffuser in the front, the diffuser in the rear. There's a cage inside. The thing is just awesome. 70 Chevelle, Chevy Chevelle SS. 
I now have four different variations of this, which is super cool. Super cool. And if anybody's got those um, and want to work out a trade, I'll definitely work with you. Um, take the wheels, send me the body, Gary. <laughs> what, the, the super? <laughs> which What is the super for that? Is that the gasser? You're going to love your GTO, I promise. I promise you I'm going to love my GTO anyway because you're taking the time to build it, bro. That's that, you know? Um, Definitely. I'm definitely going to love that GTO, bro. I appreciate you for sure. Speaking of Chevelle's 1970 Chevelle SS in the Hot Wheels race team, 2012. It's probably a 2011 copyright. Working on a custom... 70 Chevelle right now. Sweet. Is that the lowered one? Is that the lowered one or is it this one? Where with the street the street version? This is from 2011. Hot Wheels Q case has some new cars and some recolors and some carryovers from PK's 2021. The Shelby GT. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. That's the Cobra? The Cobra, the open top? The street version? Okay, that's cool. Absolutely, man. 70 Chevelle is just, you know, American American staple, right? Next up, 69 Pontiac Firebird in the Hot Wheels race team. 69 Firebird. I mean, not my favorite Firebird year, but... I'm not complaining <laughs> for a dollar. I mean, yo, look at this thing. Hot Wheels race team. You know, My Hot Wheels race team collection just went crazy. And I don't usually buy the Hot Wheels race team cars. Like, I don't go out of my way to buy them. But when I saw these, I was like, yes, I have to get these for a dollar a piece. You got to be kidding me, right? You have got to be kidding me. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here, guys. Um... Next up, now if any of you guys know the difference, let me know. I'm making Gary a custom Honda <laughs> with a number three on it. That's funny. Chevy Gasser and Race Team Blue color is 2021 PK Super. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a 1960 Shelby Cobra. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Race Team is the best, bro. 100. percent Yep. 68 Nova. Hot Wheels Race Team Black and Silver. What's the deal with that, bro? Why is it black, red, and silver, and not blue? Is it something special? Is it, is it, why did they do it? Why did they do it? They veered away from the blue. I think the blue works. It pops. It's what this is supposed to be. The black still looks awesome. It looks great. Jay, you struck gold, bro. I know I did. I know I did. I I freaking know I did, bro. Like, I couldn't get over myself. This dude was selling his collection, and I'm glad he only had eight tables and didn't unload the whole van because I would have went broke. <laughs> I would have went broke because it's cool. Okay, so they just they just switched it up. That's cool. So I got the black, black and red and silver Hot Wheels Race Team 68 Nova, right? Awesome. Take that. All right. We got another 67 Pontiac GTO in the black and silver. Hot Wheels race team. There's the difference. There's the difference, y'all. 67, the blue and white, or the black and silver. Which one you guys got? Which one's better? I love black, silver, and red. I think that's a great combo, but I don't know, man. That that blue and white, that blue and white is doing it like something about it. I like it, right? Hurt my feelings with all these cars, man. You're lucky you showed up late, bro. I already went through so many cars, man. I've been on here for two hours and 24 minutes. <laughs> I would do that, like Gary, da, 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 da. me too on that. Andre, can you keep it if you have, if it is an import? Keep it if it's an import, Andre. 
1970 Mustang Mach 1 in a Hot Wheels race team. Black and red with the silver. Black, red, and silver. 1970 Mach 1. Most of these cars are from back in 2005 to 2011, 12, something like that. But that Mach 1 is just sick, man. And I'm not a Mustang guy, but it's just got that mean look to it with the with the back window thing the wing out the back the motor sticking out sick right 70 mach one that is going to be all of the main lines that i picked up today king nut in the house what's up brother gotta rewatch all i missed that's two hours and 24 minutes this thing has been going on once you go black, oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wouldn't do that to the, 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 the black one. Welcome, DT. Got to rewatch it all. King Nut, man. Oh, my God. You just got in here, bro. I, I struck gold today. I'm going to say that. I struck gold, but you're going to really like this one. I pulled the Bone Shaker. Hot Wheels Race Team Bone Shaker. At the swap meet today. Thing is sick, right? And then, and then, there was some final run cars, guys. There was some final run cars, and I grabbed this one. Retiring model, custom Corvette. It's got, it's not Spectra Flame. It's like a flake. It's like a flake on there. I hope you can see it. But it's it's the blue with the flake, and then it's got the gold trim. It's got real riders, maybe. I don't know. They look like they don't look like real riders. They look more like um they look more like Johnny Lightning tires, where like it's plastic, but it's two piece. You guys know what I'm talking about? Um and there was a bunch there was there was probably 10 final run cars that I could have grabbed but I had already bought all of this stuff and like you got to draw the line somewhere right you got to draw the line somewhere and I would have went broke man and it was a great deal I could have got these cars for super cheap but like I had to stop spending money and I had to leave we had to leave cuz I had two boxes full of stuff and um I couldn't leave there without grabbing one of these things, though. And this is the one that stood out to me. You know? It's that it's that 1999 Final Run Custom Corvette. And... Oh, so these are just the other versions of it, right? 1998 copyright. 99 Final Run. There you go. <coughs> Um, those are co-molded wheels. Okay, co-molded. So it's like Johnny Lightning then. I think that's what they have, right? Or they had, I should say. Um, let me see a Popsicle Orange Glossy Krylon. Let me know. Popsicle Orange Glossy Krylon. Marker, are you talking about? Working on spark plug wires for my custom 71 charger. Built and noticed something is missing. JJJJ, wow, bro. Yeah, I know, man. I know. I know. My problem is I don't know where to draw the line. Yeah, well, I mean, I walked out of there with two boxes, bro. Like, there's probably 60 to 70 cars here. I'm going to guess. Um, And then I got these mystery models. Which I wish he had more of. I wish he had more of. Um, I'm going to make a short video and open these up so that everybody can see them and not um, have to look through a two uh, two and a half hour live to see what's in these mystery models, right? But I'll have this out either tonight or tomorrow for sure. But... um. Man, man, oh man, that was a haul, huh? I, I know I struck gold, guys. I know I struck gold. We had a great time. It was a little chilly. There's a lot of cars there, like show cars, you know? <clears throat> I 
None of us know where to draw the line. It's where it's why we're all here. <laughs> Jay, you sound tired, bro. Get some good sleep. Yeah, I'm a little tired. I mean, we had a long day, and then uh, I've been sitting in this chair showing you guys cars for two and a half hours. So, um, yes, this should end soon. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, man? I go all night. I go all night, bro. Sounds like a cool store, Reese. I don't know what store he's talking about. Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Majorette, Mini. Da 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 da. This store is over 500,000. Yeah, that's a lot of cars. That's cool. Eddie from Simple Custom. Open those cards. <laughs> you want me to open the cards? All right, I'm open the cards. Open the cards. Let's we'll see what's in these mystery models, huh? I guess I'm going to do it. I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to do it. That's what she said. You know what? I'm going to open these cards. But I got to use the bathroom, guys. I got I to gotta take a leak. I will be back. If you want to see what's in these mystery models, stick around. Drink some Red Bull and let's keep going. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm back, guys. I'm back. What are you guys talking about? What are you guys all talking about over here? This man going to make us wait. Yeah, man. Make sure you wash your hands. Yeah, I always wash my hands. Got a 24-ounce coffee. Let's go. <laughs> uh, that's funny. You struck platinum. Yeah, I definitely did, man. Mm-hmm. I got to get some protector cases for some of these cards. Like this final run card, man. This thing's got to get protected. I'm actually going to put this back in the box. But before I do, just look at that thing again, huh? Look at this thing, man. Beautiful car. Super sick. All right, we're going to put that right back down in the box so nothing happens to that. I know I missed a bunch of uh, comments, guys, and I'm just going to let that ride. I, I'm, I'm assuming you guys were just having a good time in here, partying, and, um, you know, enjoying the company of the JDC family. <laughs> Crack it, fire. All right, all right. I guess I'll stop. I'll stop politicking because I don't want to open them, guys. <laughs> I don't want to open them. I really don't, but I'm going to because that's that's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. Did you guys see this Nova, though? Did you see the Fast and the Furious Nova? I opened that earlier. Boom. Real Riders, Metal Base. This thing's going to get blacked out. It's going to get sent down the drag strip. 
No, nah, it's going to be a, a gift to a buddy of mine. His his boss has a 70 Nova Dragster. So, um, <clears throat> crack it, stunning. Mini GTs, da 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 da. Yeah, we sure, we sure, we sure are now. Then don't. There are. We're all a big family here. Rather, we like it, whether we like it or not. Yep, yep, yep. I have the same problem. Yeah, no. <laughs> that guess only honestly worth what people willing to pay, yo. Just so happens there's a lot of suckers these days. Bro, the Nova, though. Yeah, yeah, that's going to turn into a dragster. Um, Midnight Black with a Cal induction, like the scoop. I got to put the hood on it. I got to find a hood and or make a hood or something. All right, so basically what we have here is mystery packages from Hot Wheels from 2006 copyright, right? Mystery cars. You'll you never know what you'll find when you open a Hot Wheels mystery car. Mystery cars may be as collectible as they are mysterious. I'm assuming that they may be not so collectible too. <laughs> Fun fact number one sixty two of one eighty. Did you know that a mystery series is the first series to ever feature Hot Wheels cars in a completely opaque Pack. I did not know. I did not know. I'm picturing that, and it sounds like it's a beautiful. It's beautiful, bro. Yeah, it definitely is. It definitely is a nice, a nice dragster. Um, there's Mystery Hot Wheels Bugatti, by the way. Yeah, I know. I know. Let's see if we could pull a Bugatti. I'm not even a huge Bugatti fan. I don't really care for that, but um, let's see what's in this thing, huh? I don't even want to open it. <laughs> I don't want to open it, guys. <laughs> you know, my luck, somebody had tampered with this thing and put like a put like a put like a piece of garbage in here. <laughs> nah, this came from a collector, so chances are it has not been tampered with i'm not looking i'm not looking i'm gonna see this as you guys see it no george adams says no <laughs> they put a lot of garbage in these mystery packs just saying okay so don't let your uh, expectations get too high uh-huh what is this side draft side draft Mystery pack, side draft, right? It's cool. I mean, it's not a Bugatti, but it's cool. It's a fantasy car. Super clean. This thing's been sitting in here for... What was it? Where was the copyright? 2000... 2006, so it would have came out in 2007. So it's been sitting in this package for 14 years now. 14 years that thing's been sitting in there waiting to see the day, the light of day. Right? That's cool. I could definitely gas land it. I could do something like that. So maybe we'll post apocalyptic that bad boy. It's been tampered with now. <laughs> peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. I went to Walmart a few years ago. I got a Cadillac of here, mystery model. Cool. Space race kind of car. Yeah. Yeah, we can make a flyer out of this. That's a definite. We can make a take the wheels off, put the the hover engines in there. This thing's basically ready to go for that. Yeah, we can do that. There's actually a section in Gaslands uh, addition to to the game that's uh the Martian Racing League, which is all flying vehicles. So that's cool. Um, I might just close this back up and hang it on the wall, just because it looks cool, right? I start trying not to. Try not to break the package. I know I should have took the alcohol and opened it, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, did you know that the Mystery Series is the first series to ever feature Hot Wheels cars in a completely OP pack? Bro, that was Fun Fact 162, and now this is Fun Fact 160, and it, it's a scam. 
Yo, it is a scam. Do you see that, guys? Fun facts are the same. They were getting people. <laughs> uh, it's funny. It's a 24-hour Le Mans race car in yellow from 1999 to 2000. What are you talking about? Not this car, it ain't. This is definitely not a 24-hour Le Mans car. I know what a Le Mans car is. That ain't it. That ain't it, Junior. Deja vu. Oh, Andre's been down this road before. <laughs> it's a setup. It's a setup. You guys are telling me I should put this up on eBay or something for like $50? Nah. I don't really care. Um, we're going to open this one too, I guess. I really wanted to make its own video, but it is what it is. Um, another mystery pack bugatti and veyron are registered trademarks of bugatti international da -da 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 -da. whatever man there ain't no bugatti in this thing anyway so try to open this without cracking the uh card hold up there ain't no bugatti in this thing anyway I do it without cutting it. Oh, I cut it. Of course, I cut it. Right? I'm not gonna reseal it any or anything. I just I just want to hang these on the wall because I think they're cool. So I'm just trying to do it without messing it up. But come on, baby. Yeah, it is what it is. Damn, this one might have been tampered with because it don't want to come apart, man. Oh, it came from a collector, though, so I don't think... Fun fact number 163, all fun facts are the same. Yeah, no ish. <laughs> uh, no, Jay, no, George Adams says, guess what? All the castings are the same, just new cards and colors. Yep. <laughs> I got one from Walmart, Mr. Remodels. It's a setup. It's a setup. Oh, oh, oh. Don't scratch the Bugatti, he says. I doubt there's a Bugatti in here. Imagine opening a mystery and having a mystery machine. That would be funny. That would actually be pretty funny. What do we got? Oh, look at that. It's a beetle. It's a Beetle. Is Alex Graff still in here? Yeah, he's here. Look at this thing. It is a Beetle. Convertible. Yo, I'm actually kind of happy with this. I'm not a huge Beetle person, but... Look at this. So, this is... A fantasy casting with a plastic base, metal body, right? This thing's metal base, metal body. Bro, this thing's actually pretty sweet. Like, for 2006, which would have been 2007, they put a metal, a metal base, metal body out there. Huh. What do you guys think about this? I think that's actually pretty cool. I think that's actually pretty cool. The VW Beetle. Yo, I'm actually, I'm totally happy with that. Totally happy with that. And I'm glad that. I'm glad that it was in there because this, I mean, I kind of expected all the cars to be like this one over here, which this one's still kind of cool. I could do something with this. I'm going to do something with that, but that's pretty sweet. What did Alex say? Hold up. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Don't scratch the Bugatti. Imagine open a mystery. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay. Pink bug. That's cool. Convert. Oh, okay. Pink bug. Yep. 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 Pink. 
And it's pink, so that's the color for the Breast Cancer Awareness Month right now. So there you go. There you go. I've seen that casting, but don't think I have any. Okay. Hoping for a Bugatti, but got a Beetle. Is that a better win? <laughs> nice car, though, bro. I know, George, I'm sorry, man. You're upset right now that I opened up the mystery machines. I mean, the mystery models. Um, No lie, that is really cool. That's awesome. Yeah, yep. That is cool. The color pops, yo. Yo, and it's got flames on it. Did you guys see that? Can you see the ghost flames? Sick, right? It's got like pink. It's got like purple ghost flames. It's pretty cool. Display it like that, Jay. Okay, yeah, I could definitely do that. I might even just do both of them. You know, even though this one's not, like, sought after, right? Seal these back up and then just, um, put the KB Toys sticker on it and everything. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. I'm going to have to get the bigger, um, the bigger protector cases, which I think Mustang Hunter did a video on protector cases or Bobby Mills. It was Bobby Mills. He did a video on protector cases, so I'm going to have to go and check that out. Yo, this thing is kind of heavy, too. If it wasn't, uh, if it wasn't this, I'd send something like that to King Nut for the race, but that ain't happening. Not this car. That's super cool, man. I'm actually really gr glad that that, that that came out of there. I wasn't expecting that. <coughs> I think I'd rather have the Beetle than the Bugatti. Yeah, man, me too. Me too. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like I don't know I don't know why they put a metal base on this car. But I'm not complaining about it. I'll tell you that much. It's kind of like a custom Beetle. The thing is sweet, bro. It's got glitter on the windshield. Do you see that? I think it's glitter. Oh, uh, maybe it's part of the part of the tampo. Like part of the tampo came off, maybe? I don't know. It's also been bouncing around in this case for the last 13, 14 years or whatever. So that's pretty cool, man. That is pretty cool to pull out of a mystery a mystery model. Um, I might have to look for more of these mystery models at the, from that guy when he's going to be at the next show. So I'm going to see if he's got any more. He had a whole truck of uh, stuff that he couldn't, uh, that he couldn't display because he only had eight tables and he had a whole van full of cars. Um, and the wheels don't look all that bad. Yeah, the wheels don't look bad at all. This thing is sweet, man. Get some protective cases, and, the, and these will go up on uh, on the display. Anyone want a '63 bug <laughs> glitter? I have Lexus like that with glitter too. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's got it's definitely got specs on the windshield. Like I know it's probably hard to see on the camera, but it's it's got it's got glitter on the wind in in the windshield, guys. It's different colors, and it's all through it. Super cool, man. That tops it off right there. Absolutely. Absolutely. freaking lootly um, If you ever pull the mystery Nissan Skyline that's black with gold letters on it, I will seriously cry. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, man. I know nothing about these mystery cars. I just, I seen them. I was like, yo, those are a dollar. He was like, yeah. I was like, give me those. He didn't have any more with him. So, um, yeah, man, that's going to be it for now. I got, I'm not going to be buying no cars for a while. I just, I just spent a bunch of money on this stuff. <laughs> but, um, yo, if you haven't yet hit the like button, um, I appreciate you guys staking around for two and a half hours or whatever. 
I see the viewers are dropping off now because I've opened up all my stuff. So it is what it is. Um, I will, I will get the racing back going and probably get you guys a video of the next round this week sometime. I don't know. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. I was going to, I was going to like space it out and do one video a week and all that. And I was like, you know what? This is more of a, a test run. So, um, you know, I'm not going to hold out on this. You know, we're going to do something bigger, stick around, make sure that you're, uh, you're watching. And, uh, when, when the entries open up for the next tournament, make sure you sign up if you want to race, you know, um, yeah, man, absolutely. If you ever pull it, but uh, like it up later, Jay, later, Dane, King Nut, all you guys, man, peace, brother, Alex Graff, Calvin, Naruto, um, Neil, Gary. If if all you guys are here, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this this stuff. Amazing cars, thank you, man. Um, I hope you guys liked what I picked up at the at the car show today. DT ninety nine race. Thanks, brother. George Adams. Yeah, man. Corvette. If I find that Corvette, I got you, man. I got you. I just, I can't give up the one I got, you know. So, um, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks, Eddie. Simple Customs. Yup. Appreciate you, bro. Um, I'll get working on this next round of the tournament. And we will... We will see who's next. Ron Dill, I think. Were you in there? I think you're in the races. You might be up next. So you raced already. I don't remember, man. It was like 48 people. So um, if you if you didn't get into this round of the tournament, when it, when it opens up again, make sure you sign up if you wanna if you wanna participate. Right. Um, until then. I do have a few build videos that are going to be coming out. I'm waiting on them to get to the people that I'm sending them to. Um, and I'll have more content coming, guys. I appreciate everybody that's part of the JDC family sticking around for the lives, being there for my ups and my downs when I'm building and when I'm not, and um, when I'm busy and when I got all the time in the world. You guys are the greatest community out there. I appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.